all right hello everyone and peace of christ to all of you i hope my voice is coming good and clear uh, please invite your friends and share links with everybody you know so we have a can we can have a good day and we have good discussion uh, later we will have a brother amir who is an ex-muslim and he is driving the abdul crazy uh, <clears throat> The Muslims they say in Germany that Christian Prince in his book or his books he lie. So today we are going to get them busted, and we will have our line open for anyone who he dare to have the courage and the knowledge to call us and to challenge us about what they claim. So please invite your friends. It's going to be fun as usual. And you see, this is the difference between us and them. Muslims, they debate themselves. They make an argument. They win the debate as long as they are not debating me. Well, if you play chess by yourself, that doesn't matter who lose. I mean, you would be the winner. <laughs> oh, boy. So the Muslim, that's what they do. They say to you, we want to play chess. By the way, chess in Islam is haram. And this is because Muhammad, he don't want Muslims to be smart people. Even Muhammad, he speak about it, that the one who put his hand in the chess is the same as, as the one who put uh, uh, his hand in the, in the blood of a swine, which is a big deal in Islam. You see, Muhammad, he have no problem to put his, his hand in the blood of a human being, but he have a big problem that his hands will touch the blood of a swine. I mean, look how decent he is. Look like Muhammad, he considered the blood of the swine is more scary from the blood of a human being. He don't mind to slaughter, to kill, to torture, but he have a problem with the blood of a swine. So today we will have a good time together. Please invite your friends. We just started. And maybe in within uh, 30 minutes from now, we will have a brother Amir. He will call us. And just to inform you about Amir, um, he's an ex-Muslim. He's from Iran. He and his brother, they left Islam and they became Christians. And they are very, very active. Uh, I uh, I went to Germany this year and I met with Amir and we did actually live broadcast from his place and maybe many of you saw the broadcast already the Muslims they always try to use an opportunity there is a someone supposedly he knew Amir and he converted to Islam and why he converted to Islam his wife she converted to Islam because she was angry from him and then after that she because he is a potato she made him convert to Islam a week after and now the Muslims they are trying to use this one for their propaganda however it doesn't work this way my friend and you will see that even this potato he will leave Islam himself very soon there is many people they are you know let us say they seek revenge from people around them and they do things just for the sake of revenge um but that will not work actually most of those who convert to islam they don't stay there for maximum three years there is a conference in chicago they were trying to find a solution why people leave islam in in the max of three years really really you will find someone leave islam after three years usually before the three years ended they leave and the reason for that after you convert to islam you start learning and then you start capturing some arabic words and then you start uh, getting uh, like deeper into into the cult and the more deep you get in the more you notice that this is a very stupid false disgusting cult so they leave some of them it take them really long like you know a guy his name uh, convert to Islam he called himself a brother Ishmael anyone remember the name the redhead guy this guy he was promoting Islam for 16 years 
16 years making videos almost every day trying to convert people to Islam let me see if I can find you um, just to refresh the memory of some <clears throat> And me myself, I made many videos against him actually. Many. Just to get him busted. You know what I mean? <laughs> and then one day, this guy suddenly he decided that Islam is a big fat lie. Here we go. This is the guy. Let me put him in the screen for you. 16 years promoting lies about Islam. I believe he was a victim. And then, after 16 years, what happened, it was very troubling. This is a video for him, an old video, when he was a, a kid. Why I converted to Islam? Why I converted to Islam? And this is a video of him 16 years after why I left Islam. <laughs> oh boy. So my friend, what happened to this guy? He learned Arabic. He learned Arabic. And this was a big mistake. You should not teach him Arabic. He learned Arabic, he speak Arabic, and now he knew how to read the reference by himself. He did not need even Christian friends to read for him. You know what I mean? Debate al This guy uh, Ramazan. Ramazan is a kid. He don't. Okay, listen, listen. Those, those, those kids from Germany who keep saying Christian Prince is a liar. Christian Prince is a liar. Christian Prince is online, but they don't dare to call him. What do you think? Let this potato Ramazan, who do not know how to say his prophet name correctly, give me his Skype. I will call him voluntarily. What do you think? <laughs> As long they can get me busted, as long Christian Prince is a liar, why they want to call me? I mean, let everybody hear. Do you, do you see? Do you notice who is the liar? Because if a Christian Prince is a liar, they will be fighting over to say, "Hey, you said this. It doesn't say that. Hey, hey you, you are lying." But they make videos, and the Muslim, by the way, it doesn't matter what you say. The Muslims they agree with you. Because it's a duty for a Muslim to support you even if you are lying about Islam. The same as what happened with Muhammad Hijab and David Wood. Muhammad Hijab, to answer David Wood, David Wood, he said to him, Allah, he said, hey, Allah, he pray. He pray for who? Muhammad Hijab, he said, Allah, he don't pray to, he pray for, which is exactly what, what, what David Wood said. And all the Muslims like, wow, hey, 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 hey. like this guy, he just said the same. He just agreed with David Wood, you, you, you idiot. They support you. It doesn't matter how stupid you are. There's nothing. It's called Shia Islam. Shia Islam is the same. You know, Shia. The only difference between Shia and Sunni that you know they have different uh, source of garbage, but it's the same garbage. You know, we don't talk about them much because they are minority compared to the rest. But the Shia Islam is is uh, is a stupid, the same as the Sunni Islam, and both of them they are violence. All right, Shia Islam, Sunni Islam. By, by the way, what Shia? There's many Shia, and what Sunni? There's many Sunni. You see, when you say Sunni, there's many Sunni, there's many Shia, and even the Sunni clean each other, and the Shia clean each other, and it's a garbage, garbage in, garbage out. Dina kulu kharabiyat, ye wal iskut iskut iskut. Galla ya farhan, la basuk al madrata man wina cha. Galla yim al khanaga. Before we start with Amir, I'm going to open my Skype for any Muslim who would like to call us. All right, give me a second to open my Skype.
all right skype is opening any muslim would like to do so please feel free only muslims no christians please you see how much we spoil the muslims only muslims there we go my skype is open it's loading and we will be there in a second all right skype is open in case any muslim would like to call and right away when i open skype i get like like a, a pop-up windows by henry it's like, bu -bu 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 -bu. like it's like a gun machine you know if i show you you will not believe it why you don't answer hmm. abdul he sent me a message in skype I don't know if he's online or not. Let us see. Assalamu alaikum. I am a Muslim from Indonesia. I will show you the message. I am 16 years old. What do you want to ask? I thought this guy is immature. It turned to be a kid. I've been watching your stupid video on YouTube. You make statement that Muslims do not know why Jesus returned. Can I teach you? Because in my opinion, you are an adult who pretended to know about we, what we believe. But in the fact, you only make your own conclusion and make stupid people, what make you like a stupid, stupidest people. Okay, what is the answer about why Jesus will come back? <laughs> continue how could a man has become a dumbest person I have ever known even my five years old sister what do you mean your five year sister are you saying she is a child Aisha she was six years old and she was in the lap of the prophet as a wife shame on you know why Jesus would return and she was also very clever in mathematics because she could calculate one plus one plus one you equal to three and not one plus one plus one equal to one i can only laugh and embarrassing statement <laughs> you see i i like the idea of somebody laughing at the quran because you just laughed at the quran It is the Quran who teach you one plus one plus one plus one is equal to one, not Christianity. Where in the Bible we have one plus one plus one? What does that mean? Let us get the Abdul busted. If we go in the Quran, we will find the following. And we look like we have to explain this maybe every day, but it's okay. In chapter 4, verse number 171, the Quran says 1 plus 1 plus 1 is equal to 1. Not in Christianity. We don't believe in 1 plus 1 plus 1 equal to 1. That's only stupid people believe in, and I agree with you. This is your book. The same verse saying that not to say Trinity is the same verse saying one plus one plus one is equal to one. Read with me carefully and laugh at your God. If you don't want to laugh at your God, at least take a selfie with your God. O oh, people of the book, commit no excuse in your religion, nor say Allah uh, of Allah uh, uh, ought but the truth. Christ Jesus, by the way, it doesn't say Jesus here, it says Isa. This is a false translation. So Isa. The son of Mary is a messenger. Okay, let us put here one. So he's what? He is a messenger. What kind of messenger? He's a man. That's wonderful. And he is his word. He's what? His word. This is what? This is the other one. We put one here. And then 
it says uh, which he bestowed on Mary and a spirit proceeding from him so he is a spirit proceeding from God this is the third one so now what we have according to your funny book we have one plus one plus one equaled to Jesus who is the stupid one who believe in one plus one plus one Abdul messenger hmm? plus there's no screen oh sorry it's my fault unbelievable man I need an assistant here who want to volunteer you see my screen is covered I cannot see anything seriously <laughs> forgive me please all right let us do this to avoid this issue let me put this here all right so as you see let us go back from zero then as long you guys you were not able to see the screen with me I apologize for that it was a technical Jabril Jabril did not inspire me sorry you know sometimes Jabril do stupid things People of the book commit no execution in religion nor say Allah but the truth. Jesus Christ, Jesus, there's no Jesus, there is Isa. The son of Mary was, there's no no more than. This is a translation. This is why it was three two bracket. He was a messenger. So, number one, he is a messenger. Put one here. And he is his word and his word. So, this is the second thing. Jesus is a messenger and he is the word of God. And he Allah, he bestowed on Mary his and a spirit from him. So Jesus is, this is number two, this is number three, which is, which is spirit proceeding from him. So Jesus is a messenger, number one. He is a word, number two. He is a spirit, number three. So who is the stupid who's told you that in Christianity we believe that one plus one plus one is equal to one? That is your God. That is your stupid God. He is the one who taught you that, not Christianity. So look what we have with us. We have a messenger. Plus word plus spirit equal to one. Do you see it, Abdul? That is in your book. Now, as long, one plus one plus one, and this is something the Muslims, they copy from Zakir Naik, and Zakir Naik, he copied from Didat, and Didat, he covered it from his mommy. Can we find one smart Abdul? Instead of scratching his ass, he scratches his brain. I mean, why Christian prince, he need to school you, and he need to spank you? Who is the Muslim now when I explain to us why the Trinity exists in the same verse saying, say no Trinity? Did your God Allah made a stupid mistake? Do we have any Abdul? Mayday, mayday. Allah is very bad in mathematics. Mayday, mayday. Allah is very stupid in mathematics. Mayday, mayday. Allah, he just said that messenger plus word plus spirit is equal to Jesus. Equal to one. I thought that this is a very wrong mathematics. Look like you Muslims, you are hitting the bump, the pump of the, the, the bump, the bump, the bump, the bump of your God. Nader Rahman, it's just a kid, man, Nader Rahman. I feel sorry for him. This guy, he should see a clinic. Any Muslim want to explain to us why you Muslims keep saying that it is wrong to say one plus one plus one? Uh, yeah, call me if you are a Muslim, please. If you are a Muslim, don't hesitate to call. All right? If you are a Muslim, call me.
not don't any muslim No, no. I, I take I take calls from from Muslims only. Don't tell me I am Hebrew. There's nothing. There's nothing. It's called Hebrew. What Hebrew? What does that mean? Hebrew, uh, Hebrew, Israelite from those uh, African who they think they are Hebrew. If you are an African who think you are a Hebrew, well, go and take some medication too. You need help. This is a racist group. Have nothing to do with God. The same as uh, the Muslim. They created a cult. It's called uh, Louis Farrakhan. Do we have any Muslim here? Any Muslim? Why your God saying one plus one plus one is equal to one? What's wrong with your God? Any Muslim have an idea? My friend, even if you are not from those uh, mad uh, who think they are uh, Hebrew, I don't care now we take call only from Muslims please don't waste my time don't text me you was in all three religion that's mean you have an issue my friend a person he changed religion as changing shoes it's mean he need to see a doctor Imagine you are a Hindu today, tomorrow you are Christian, the day after you are Buddha, the day after you are atheist, the day after you are Muslim, the day after you are Jehovah's Witnesses, the day after. It's meaning you need, you know, you have, you have, a, you have a stability problem. All right. Now, where is the Muslim want to call us? Who is the Muslim would like to call us? So as you see, the Muslims, they accuse you of things, but the fact it is them who have those stupid things is not us. We don't believe that God is one plus one plus one. Nowhere in the Bible it says that, but this is something we can find in the Quran. Same time, if we go to the Quran, my friend, if you keep texting me, if you want to text chat, if you want to text me in Skype, I will block you. I don't talk in private. Don't text me. Skype is only for people to call me. I don't open Skype to chat. If we go in the Quran, additional to this, we will find that Allah himself, he don't, who do not know himself, he cannot recognize himself without a three. He cannot. And Muslims cannot recognize him without a three. What is the first verse you have in your Quran? Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Bismillah Ar Rahman Ar Rahim. Allah Ar Rahman Ar Rahim. Question If Allah is one, why we need a three? Are they those a three? He will say to me, those are three names. No problem. Why he present himself by three names? Isn't it enough to present himself to us by one? Is it a necessity? Obviously it is. Because if your God is a wise God, he will not do things without wisdom. So what is the wisdom of presenting himself in three things? Not four, not five, not six, not seven, not eight, not twenty. Allah himself, he have 99 names, which is multiply of three anyway. Everything in your cult is based on number three. Now you tell me how one plus one plus one is one. If Allah is one God, who is a Rahman and who is a Rahim? To answer this question, we can find the answer for it in the Quran. The name of Ar-Rahman never exists in Islam. It was a theft by the thief Muhammad. There was a man who claimed to be a prophet in the time of Muhammad as many. And even his wife, she claimed to be a prophet. It was a business at that time that anyone, he make himself a prophet because it's good money. 
So Muhammad, he received a letter from this man. And in this letter, this guy, he says, in the name of Ar-Rahman, in the name of Ar-Rahman, okay. Muhammad, he claimed that all the names, the good names belong to Allah, and this is, can be found in chapter 12, verse number 40. But the story we are talking about is in chapter 17, verse number 110. The people, they ask him, why you are calling your God a Rahman? Your God is not a Rahman. You never called him a Rahman. Since when? Muhammad, since when your God became Mr. Rahman? Muhammad always speak about his God, but he never ever, he mentioned the word Rahman before. So Muhammad to answer them about that, he said, look, Allah told me the following. Say, call upon Allah or call upon Rahman, whatever name you call upon him, all the names, all the good names belong to Allah. <laughs> Muhammad got busted. The name of Ar-Rahman is a theft. He stole it from someone else. His name is Rahmanul Yamama. And we can show you that in the book of Tafsir. I challenge any Muslim to call me and to say, I challenge you, I challenge you, I challenge you to show me the proof. Who is a Muslim want to call me and will say to me, I challenge you, I challenge you to show me the proof and the reverence? Zakir Naik, maybe? Let us ask Zakir Naik about what happened. You know, the, it's an Islamic country phone, so it's very slow. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, Brother Zakir Naik, uh, uh, we have a question for you. I told you one million times, don't call me up the middle of the night. I live in Bangladesh and it is very late here. And I'm going to call the police for you because you are doing to me sexual harassment. Uh, Dr. Zakir Naik, just a question. There's no sexual harassment here. It's just a question. Okay, go ahead. Uh, why in the Quran, the Prophet of Allah, uh, he said that I call him Ar-Rahman or I call him Allah, it doesn't matter. Where the name of Ar-Rahman came from and how suddenly this appear? Okay, first of all, don't change your voice. I know you. Your name is the Christian Prince. Everybody know your voice. And I know you are calling me to make fun of my prophet and my Allah. And I'm going to get you busted. As an example, if you have somebody you like and you don't like his name and you give him a new name, what's the problem? Uh, are you saying the prophet he did not like the name of Allah so he gave him second name? Uh, this is not what I meant. Don't, uh, 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 you, you know, you are very slow. You are extremely very slow. What I'm saying, that all the good names belong to Allah. Uh, no, no, this is what that you said. You said if you somebody have a bad name, you don't like it, you change his name. So it was obviously the first name is not good. What is it enough to have the name of Allah? Is that enough or no? I mean, is Ar-Rahman better than the name of Allah? Nobody said that the name Al-Rahman is better than the name of Allah. Nobody said that. But Allah, he like all the good names. Any name he like it, he grab it. Thank you very much. And don't call me again. Aren't you convinced? What's wrong with the name of Allah? Muhammad, he liked the other name. He starts suddenly calling the guy, calling his God, Ar-Rahman. Even the Arab, they say to him, who is Ar-Rahman? Who is Ar-Rahman? And by the way, brother, if you don't believe that's what this is the story is, brother, I can show you the reference, brother. Who is a Muslim brother would like to call me so I will make him read the reference about this story? Brother? Hmm? 
Ar Rahman, the best names belong to the all the good names belong to Allah. What about Susu? What about Fufu? All the good names belong to Allah. Beautiful names. Madonna, Michael Jackson. What, what do you mean all the beautiful names belong to Allah? What kind of excuse is that? So why you Muslims, you lie to us and you say Allah have 99 names? If all the beautiful names belong to Allah. Amir will be with us in a few, uh, maybe in maybe 15, 20 minutes. He is in the gym. He is doing a sport with Ar Rahman, Ar Rahman, which is Allah. Any Abdul? All the good names belong to Allah. As an example, su 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 fu 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 mi 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 mu 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 bu 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 hu 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 lu 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 mu lu lu lu. All the good names belong to Allah. All of them. Shakira, Shakira. From now on, I'm going to call Allah Shakira. Oh, we have Faris is calling us. Let us see what Faris wanna say. Hey, Faris, how are you? Paris, are you there? Paris, are you there? Hello? Are you there? Uh, Faris, I think you made a mistake. You called me before saying inshallah. Remember the story of David? He had sex with 99 women, but he forgot to say inshallah. Don't do that. And then Allah, he made only a woman of his women get a pregnant with half a human. Call me again. Legendary Faris, I will call you, I will call you. <clears throat> Are you there, Faris? Hello? Are you there? Hello? What happened to this guy? Okay, look like he didn't want to talk. It's all right, it's all right. I know you, I understand your situation. If I am, I put myself in the shoes of a Rahman, I will be in trouble. Hmm. Do we have any Muslim? Do we have any Muslim would like to call us? What this is drama is about? Why Muhammad is adding names? And by the way, if this is when the Quran mentioning that the first time Muhammad he called his God a Rahman, so how a Rahman appear in the front of every chapter in the Quran today? As you see, he never mentioned the name of a Rahman before. Never. And this is why the Arab are asking him, who is a Rahman? Like, what the heck? Who is Mr. Ar-Rahman, the br brother? Do we have any Muslim? May they, may they. Any Muslim want to say something? Any Muslim would like to defend the Prophet of Allah? Any Muslim he think that we are not telling the truth? Hello? Hello? Hey, Brother Amir, how are you? Hello. Hello. How is the gym? <laughs> uh, it was fine. <laughs> I want you to do something to your gym. I want you to change the name of your gym and call it Ar Rahman. Gym Ar Rahman? Yeah, because uh, when Muhammad he stole the name of Ar Rahman, the people, the Arab, they ask him, Who is Ar Rahman? The Rahman we know is a guy who claimed to be a prophet of Allah, or prophet, sorry, and he called himself Ar Rahman, and his God is Rahman. 
So Muhammad, he said to them, all the good names belong to Allah. And whatever I call him, I call him Rahman. I call him potato. It doesn't matter. Okay. Yeah. He, he gave himself the names of Allah. Huh? He make him uh, stuff, uh, uh, God. Huh? No, but actually, no, he's uh, stealing the name. He, oh, the name. This is the name of a guy. Yeah, the other guy, his he name is Rahman. Him. Yes. The other guy, his name is Rahman. And he called his God Rahman. So they said to him, the only one we know is Rahman al Yamama, the guy from Yamama. And he is the one who claimed to be a prophet and he called himself Rahman and his God is a Rahman. So why you are calling your God Rahman now? So Muhammad, to answer them, he answered in chapter 17, verse number uh, 110. He said, all the good names belong to Allah. So whatever I call upon him, it doesn't matter. This is Brother Amir, by the way. I will put you on the screen so people, they can see you in video. Yeah, okay, no problem. You see, this is the reason I, I don't show myself in camera because I'm not handsome like Amir. That's what we can <laughs> do. Oh, I mean. don't say something. You <laughs> look great, brother. <laughs> All right, my friend. So, but, uh, but I tell the truth, you look like the biggest terrorist I ever seen in my I life. I know, I'm scary. <laughs> sometimes sometime I look at the mirror, I get scared myself. <laughs> That's why I don't have mirror at home. Like the biggest, ter biggest terrorist in the world. I used to go in the elevator, like in, 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 in many countries. I go in the elevator, I say, good morning, nobody answer. <laughs> nobody answer, you know? I don't know they, why. They I mean, you, you blow yourself up, huh? No, they get, they get scared, like, oh, you know, they put their head around, they, you know. Uh, that's what you can do. I mean, that's not my fault. Anyway, so I heard I heard that some people they are saying that uh, did you did you try uh, started the broadcast in uh, Facebook? Uh, no, uh, Facebook blocked me. Oh, Facebook is under the hands of the mm. uh, Muslims. <laughs> mm. Yes, you okay. know that they blocked me from two accounts. Mm. Uh, each time I posted. Anything about Islam, they block me uh, right away. Mm, it's okay. Well, no problem. We are here to stay, and uh, you make a new account. Who cares that your your account will grow? Just give me the link, and I will give it to people. They will subscribe by thousands. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, no problem. So you know, I was telling uh, I was telling them uh, here that uh, some of the German Muslims, if we can call them German. They were saying that I am uh, I have lies in my books. Is that correct? Yes, this is correct. Mm. Mm. What is that? <laughs> uh, the first lie uh, is um, the story in which you uh, in which Muhammad ordered uh, to kill a good believer who never commit anything, mm. who was a good guy and he was praying and mm. so and Muhammad was very jealous about him. And uh, tell his followers who wants to kill him. Hmm. Okay. <sighs> I have an offer, like I, Amir. I have an offer. Uh, I have wait, an offer. Wait, yeah. Uh, wait, brother. Hmm. Uh, this is mentioned in your book, and you um, gave the reference about uh, this story in Sahih Al Bukhari hmm. in, in the book of Futuh, mm -hmm. Futuh or, or yeah. something like this. Yeah. And they, the the Abduls here in Germany, they don't find this um, hadith, but yeah. I know this hadith has existed. And the Muslims know that this hadith is sahih and is existed, but not in this reference, I think. Yeah, well, you see, as, as long as the story is sahih and it exists, then mm. that the problem is their problem. Secondly, I want mm. a Muslim to call me right now and I will make him read the reference in front of his eyes. Yes. Who yes. want to do that? This is, no you see, you see, this, 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 they are stupid. You know, this one, like uh, uh, somebody told me why you call them donkeys. I mean, I have to call them donkeys because, because if they knew, they should have knew that the book name there is not even exist in Sahih al-Bukhari. There's books, it's called Explanation of Sahih al-Bukhari. And here mm -hmm. we go, this is the reference in the front of your eyes. I will put it there. I know you know a little bit of uh, Arabic letters, right? Mm -hmm. Does it say here it's Sahih al-Bukhari? And here we go, this is the reference. Okay. Sahih al-Bukhari. Okay, this is say Sahih al Bukhari. I put the reference as it is, not as Muslim they want it to be. This is how it, how it is. Mm -hmm. So, this is Sahih al Bukhari. And then, if we mm -hmm. go, and this is the book name, the original, maybe we should explain more in the title. This is here the book of Fathul al Bari fi Sharhi Sahih al Bukhari. But the book, mm -hmm. what the book is about Sahih al Bukhari. 
الكتاب الكتب صحيح البخاري and this is here the chapter name استتابة المرتدين والمعاندين وقتالهم okay. the repentance of those who they are apostate and those who they reject and, 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 and killing them if we go here in the same <coughs> And let us see. Read with me here. Any Muslim who will speak Arabic. If you are a Muslim who speak Arabic, please call us so you can read for us and you can confirm what we are seeing in front of, of us. This is this is the story repeated many times about a guy who was praying to Allah and he was a good man and he did nothing wrong except Muhammad. He was jealous from him. And he decided to kill him for that reason only. <laughs> and this is here in the front of us. This is exist. Even this, even the story is exist in Musnad Ahmad. If we go uh -huh. to the book of Musnad Ahmad, we will find the same same story. Please don't call me unless you are a person who speak Arabic and a Muslim. All right, a person who speak Arabic and a Muslim, because we want to make, make you read for the Abdul and let us see who is the one is lying. Secondly, if the Muslim they are saying that those references are exist in different books and they are a true mm. reference, so what is the problem? Who, where is the lie here? Yes, uh, I doesn't understand uh, because the story uh, let Muhammad looks like an idiot, you know, like a jealous man who uh, who is a uh, murderer, you know. Yeah. Why Same. do you want to kill this guy? He doesn't even uh, do anything. The guy he was just he was a good believer he did not do anything wrong the guy he did not do anything he did not commit any crime and yes. the, the only crime he did muhammad obviously uh, uh you know he muhammad he was jealous from him you know mm -hmm. that's all the guy he did not do anything there's no crime and muhammad he claimed that because he you know he predict that this person uh you see here we go this is this is this, 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 this you see there's look how many times the reference repeated Many times the reference repeated. This is here Fatul Bari, variant number 16. Uh, uh, and the mm -hmm. reference in the front of us. If we click, all right, here we go. The reference repeated again. All of this is interpretation of Sahih al Bukhari. So when the Abdul wow. he says we could not fight in a Sahih al Bukhari because he's an idiot, <laughs> it, it, it is not Sahih al Bukhari. This is interpretation of Sahih al Bukhari. It's not my fault if you are a donkey. You do not know what I'm talking about. Brother, wait. What? What? Uh, why you mention it in the book of a photo? You know, you gave this reference in this book, uh, Allah's Toyshon. Because it's German. mentioned in many. It mentioned in many books. You see, this is not the book of Al Bukhari. This is the book of interpretation for Al Bukhari. So, okay. uh, somebody he have a knowledge, he will know right away that this is not Al Bukhari. This is the interpretation of Al Bukhari. But if somebody mm. don't have a knowledge, he will think that this is okay. He's saying Al Bukhari because anyone he can get, and he will find that this book even does not exist in Al Bukhari. Okay. And the whole book does not exist in Al Bukhari. <laughs> so, <laughs> so this is stupid of them. So when we when we mention, here we go. Here the story in the front of us, and you know the, the look look how silly the Muslims are. They are trying to avoid that the problem is there that their prophet is killing a, a man because he's jealous. And now the problem is the reference is wrong. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like we have a rapist. He raped one thousand women, and now and, and now Christian Prince he made the address wrong. This is the problem now. It's not the guy who raped one thousand women. They are saying the address is wrong, but even that is not wrong. It is correct. Uh, yes, the, the, the story is correct, but it's written in another uh, narration. Or well, this is uh, how it is. You see, in a, in, the, in the front of you, here we go. This is the website of the Muslims. What, what they do here, look what they do. They, they do. It says here, Sahih al Bukhari. I'm not making things up. Sahih al Bukhari. Do you see it, Abdul? Al Kutub. Sahih al Bukhari. Let me highlight for you. I know you are slow. And by the way, I heard that this guy he is upset because I call I call them donkeys. I am not the one who called them donkeys. Muhammad, he did. Let me show you. If we go to the book of Hadith, we will find the following. And I changed the Muslim to say again that he is giving wrong reference. Yes. Let us see. Guys, don't call me now in Skype, please. Let me, you know what? Unless you are a Muslim. Are you a Muslim? Text me first before you call me. Before you call me, text me and say I'm a Muslim. 
You see, we are not the same as... Is there as any Muslim in Germany who won the call here? Yeah, feel free. Especially if you speak Arabic. I love it. Uh, should I say it in German when someone here... Yeah, you can say it if you want. No problem. But I think all, the, Germ I all the German, they speak English anyway. Look what your prophet said about the Muslims. <laughs> Muhammad S-A-W-S said, does anyone who raise <laughs> his head... Does anyone who raise his head before the Imam not fear that Allah may turn his head into a head of a donkey? Mm -hmm. A name for me, one Muslim, he never raised his head before the Imam during his lifetime. It's impossible. Mm -hmm. Which means, based in Muhammad, every Muslim must be having a face of a donkey and a head of a donkey. Face of a donkey. Mm -hmm. So why are you getting upset if your prophet is trying to? I mean, look, look how look how stupid this statement is. Muhammad is trying mm -hmm. to scare them to make them pray, and they don't leave they lift their head up before he finish. And by, by <laughs> fabricating a stupid story that Allah will make your face a face of a donkey and a head of a donkey. Mm -hmm. Now, who is a Muslim want to call and say we are lying? Hmm. As you see, everything, everything I have in my book, I have even the text, I have the reference, I have everything. How dare you to say we are lying? And how dare you to say mm -hmm. that we are lying about the location, but you admit that the story is true? Mm -hmm. Which means you are agreeing that your prophet is a criminal and he is not a prophet of God. Because remember in Islam, you cannot supposedly kill a man unless he is guilty of something. This is what they mm -hmm. say to us, especially as a Muslim. So the man he's praying, the man he is doing everything the Muslim do. He's praying actually too much. Why you kill him? What is the reason? And I have a surprise for the Abdul. All those videos in the front of us is about the hadith I am quoting. Should I play it? <laughs> look, 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 look. All those Abduls are talking about the hadith of the Prophet killing the man who did nothing. This is the wow. TV station of Iqra. TV station wow. of Iqra, which is a very Islamic station, you know, broadcast, I think, from Saudi Arabia, sponsored by Saudi Arabia. And here we go. Mm -hmm. This is the hadith in the front of us. And the guy, he explained how the Prophet ordered the, the killing of this man, who he said exactly as I said. Look at the title uh, 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 for those who speak Arabic. Hadith Sa'fatun min shaytan If you remember in my book, it says that this per person he have a face in his face, the 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 the, the look the of shaytan. Yeah, the look of shaytan. This yes. is the this is the hadith name, and this is the scholar. This is your potato, not my potato. Huh? <laughs> and this is this is the Muslim website, Muslim uh, AFHQ book. This is the this is the website. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to post even the link. In the in the chat in my video in YouTube, so anyone can click in it and he can watch it and he can laugh. So this is story is absolutely true. Otherwise, why a Muslim in Saudi TV broadcasting to all around the earth is quoting the story if it is false? Mm -hmm. And he is quoting it, quoting it from the book which I mentioned in my book. So now, where is the Muslims who want to say to us we are lying? Mm -hmm. Hmm? I wish I can play for you the video, but I'm afraid they will say, uh, you know, copyright. The story, yes. the story start from the the minute uh, uh, fifty, I think fifty in this video, and you will see the guy. He is explaining why the prophet he killed this man, why he killed him. Mm. But the guy he did nothing. He's just praying too much. Muhammad here reclaiming by by ordering the killing of this man that he is God because how you know that this guy is is a bad person and since when you kill somebody before he commit a crime he is a Muslim he's praying to Allah he's worshiping Allah he said the Shahada he do everything the Muslims do since when you can kill a Muslim without committing a crime according to Islam but because if you read the story Muhammad he was jealous that this guy the Muslims are praising him they mm -hmm. were saying he's amazing He's so good. Mm -hmm. So what he do? Muhammad, he felt he felt insecure. So he decided to kill the man. This is the same story. This is the book of Sahih uh, Fathul Bari. Fathul Bari fi sharh Sahih al Bukhari. This is the explanation. This is the explanation. This is the same. It's the same. It's an explanation anyway. You know. But the story. But the story. Yeah. Yeah. But the story, yeah, yeah, but the story is there. The guy, the guy, he was just praying, 
and the, the, the Muslims before Muhammad he came they were saying he's an amazing man let us tell you about this man who is a uh, 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 you know uh, 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 who prays so much who, who worship Allah too much and look what Muhammad he did he ordered Abu Bakr he ordered Omar he ordered them one after one to go and kill him but why read the story I challenge any Muslim because Muhammad was jealous about him I want I want a Muslim obviously obviously I want a Muslim if he is a, a person believe Muhammad is a prophet to tell us why this guy was killed what, what he did exactly and look each time they go to kill him all Jaya Abu Bakr ila Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam faqala ya Rasulullah inni umrtu bi maratu bi wadi kada kada wa bal 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 the same story repeated in many places in, in 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 many quotation so they are killing a person who is doing nothing but praying and look here, mm -hmm. uh, one after one, this they, they say, you say, Fakala idhab ilayhi faqtuluhu, Fakala, Fadahaba ilayhi Abu Bakr, for a fellow Marah, you solly, Karihan Yaturu, Muhammad, you said to him, Go and kill him, go and kill him. Mm -hmm. But Abu Bakr, he went to kill him and he found him praying, so he hated to kill him when he's praying to Allah. So he mm -hmm. came to the Prophet and he said to him, Well, I, you know, he, he told him what happened. So he told the same to Omar, and then he told the same to uh, to to Ali, and then by the time but by the time Ali he went to kill him, the guy disappeared, which means he left. Mm -hmm. This is the story. Here we go. It's repeated many many places. It's in the same same you know all over. All of this, all of this is in the front of us. So now, as the Muslim, as long as the Muslims agree that this is what their books is saying, not what the Christian prince is saying. That's mean they yes, admit this it. is in their books. Yeah. And as long here we go, you see, when when a scholar in the TV he caught for us the story. Is he quoting a false story? Is he quoting a false story to prove to us mm -hmm. a false story, or he's quoting a story because it's already approved? And you know that this is in Saudi Arabia. If you mention one word which is not really accepted by Muslims, this guy he will he will lose his job. This guy is a, is a scholar, big scholar. And he is hired to be in the, the most famous Islamic TV in the world. It's called Iqra TV station. Mm -hmm. In order to have him, and he is speaking from, from, the, from the city of Mecca. This is not speaking from Al-Rida or Jeddah, speaking from Mecca itself. So he is the imam of the masjid, and he is the highest scholar in that location. And the government and the Saudi and the Muslims, they choose him to explain to them Islam. And look how many microphones in front of him. You see, the poor me, I have only one microphone. <laughs> This is telling you because yeah because if you are if you you see you see uh, Amir if you are uh, if you are a person with knowledge they will give you like more like if you have five microphones you will like you are like yes. a general if you have six microphones <laughs> <laughs> so so when the Muslims they say it's not true that is a stupid and that is a that's that is so dumb yeah because the story uh, let Muhammad looks like the a murderer and um, a jealous guy. And you know the, the the question is is what is the reason to kill this guy? Why where are they? Uh, uh, <laughs> is there any Muslim to tell us why? No, Amir, Amir, where are they? Those people who make guy. videos. Where are they, those who make videos? And they say Christian Prince is lying. Why they don't call us right now? Here we go. My <laughs> Skype is open. Join us, please, in the conversation and get me busted if you are a man. But all of you, you are potatoes, and you don't dare to do so. <laughs> I want any Muslim to call us and say that this guy in the TV, he is a scam. He's a liar, too. <laughs> and not, they, they and not only him, you see, I'm just right. showing you, I'm, jo I'm just showing you uh, 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 one of many scholars. I, I can show you tons of reference. All of them, they are speaking about the same thing. Here we go. What about this guy? What about this guy? What about, uh, let us see. This hadith is explained too, but, but with, with, with high technology. The same story, the same story, the same story, the same story, the same story. All the Muslim scholars, الرجل الذي أمر الرسول بقتله. No? This, is, this is a very famous scholar for the Muslims. His name is a Sheikh al Sha'rawi. Mm. The video is very old. This is why it doesn't look good, you know. Uh, mm -hmm. But uh, all, uh, uh, no, I think this is uh, this is Al Hawaini. 
I forgot his name really but anyway all those Muslim scholars they are saying the same story so it is a lie but yet all the Muslims in their TV they are quoting the story to prove a point who is a Muslim want to call us what a shame what a shame may they may they a muslim is required a muslim is needed who want to call us same time uh, uh amir i heard that this guy this kid he said that the bible is corrupt is that true yes it's true yes okay let us get them busted if the muslim says to us that the bible of, of christ is corrupt that's mean islam is corrupt why because the stupid who says such a thing he forgot that he's accusing allah of not being god not Yes, like God of because who who who, uh, who um, delivered uh, the Torah and Injil? It was Allah. The this one is who the book not, of Allah. This is yeah. This is the book of Allah, <clears throat> according to Muslims. In chapter three, yeah. chapter three, verse number three, chapter three forty eight, chapter three forty uh, 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 sixty five, uh, 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 chapter five. All those chapters in the front of us confirming one story that Allah is the one who sent the Torah and the gospel. Question. If Allah is the one who sent the Torah and the gospel, so why you don't say and be a man that the, the Torah of Allah is corrupt and the yes. gospel of Allah is corrupt? Because when you say that the Bible is corrupt, you are talking about the Bible of Allah and the Torah of Allah. And mm -hmm. if, if, if the proof that God cannot be true God because his book can be corrupted, that means Allah cannot be God. Amen. Because how he is I this God must be stupid anyway. <laughs> here we go. I have books. I He's challenge you. And he can protect his books. Yeah, I challenge you to corrupt my book. I am not. I'm not a God. I'm not a prophet. I am no one. I challenge you to corrupt my book. <laughs> you are telling me that you have a God. His name is Mosquito. Oh, not Matt Mosquito. Uh, sorry, Miss 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 Thompson. Miss Ar Rahman. Miss Ar Rahman. So, Mr. Rahman. Mr. Rahman. So, this God who is, uh, uh, you know, high, very high, but the Muslim do not know how high he is and uh, uh, where he is and what he is, or what they know that they have a name. His name is Allah, and sometimes he called himself Al Rahman, sometimes he called himself Al Muntaqim, sometimes he called him, even Allah, he called himself a believer. Have you ever heard of a God he believed? <laughs> he believed in what? <laughs> brother, hmm. brother, uh, please show us uh, Surah 70. Hmm. Verse 40 Allah swears by uh, another um, Lord. Okay, hold on. Allah is swearing by, by another uh, Lord. Okay, well, okay well, yeah, you know, take Who's it talking e there. Take it easy on the Muslims. Come on, I mean, Allah, I do things, you know. Elijah means God is with us. <laughs> uh, yeah, Elijah means God is with us. <laughs> This was so a big mistake to accept the debate with David Wood. <laughs> no, no, it's not a mistake. Elijah you know, he said the God truth. He said the truth. So you said what chapter you want? What chapter? 17? Uh, 70. 70. 70. Oh, 70. Okay, 70. What verse? 70 ayah 40. Ah, 40. 40. You're being a bad boy now. <laughs> the Muslims will hate you more. Yes. Hmm. It's okay. But I mean, what a big I deal, my friend. It. Allah, he swear by fig. Yes, he swear by anything. If we have a God, he swear by fig, and he have no problem with that. I don't know where to put your picture here. Let me let me hide it for now so we can read the text. All right. Fala uqsimu bi Rabbi al mashriq wal maghrib. Okay. Uh, I swear by the Lord of the rising places of the sitting places of the sun. <laughs> See, who's mm. yeah. talking there? But, uh, by the way, uh, uh, the funny. Uh, Allah, he think that there is, yeah, he swear by, by the Lord of... Uh, Who is this Lord? I think Allah is the Lord. No, this Are is... Are they Muslim stupid or what? No, uh, you, you see what happened after Obama, he left the office, Trump, he hired a different guy to be the Lord of the East and the, another one to be the Lord of the West. And he put them in the United Nation. And Allah now, he swear by them. But I have a, I have a, I have a more, more stupid story for uh -huh. you. Uh, the, the God of Islam, because he's all knowledgeable, he believe that because now we have a mistake because of what you mentioned. Mm. Uh, Muhammad, he believe that there is uh, Allah believe that there is two 
east and two west. Okay. Hmm? Two east, two west. Two east, two west. Let us see. Chapter 55, verse number 17. He is the Lord of the two east and the Lord of the two west. Mm -hmm. Do you know why he said that? Mm -hmm. Who knows why? Any Muslim knows why? Why Allah, he said there is two east and two west. I will explain to you. Muhammad, because he is very smart and he's a genius, <laughs> and because he is the only Allah speaking there, he thought that there is two east and two west. Why? Because Muhammad, he noticed, and the Arab believed before that, that obviously there is two suns. There is suns for the winter and there is sun for the, for, for the summer. <laughs> <laughs> because simply, the sun, you know, in the winter time, it appeared from different place. Same as, and it, and it set in different place from the sun in the summertime. So Muhammad, he come to the conclusion, based on what the Arab believed before him, that there is two east and two west. And by the way, this is scientifically true. Mm. <laughs> like what Muhammad said, that the, uh, uh, the, the shape of the world looked like uh, it's flat, huh? No, yeah, he said that too. But I mean, look at this. This guy, he think that there is two... There is two east, but hold on. Do you see here in the translation this says, He is the Lord of the two east and the Lord of the two west? Yes, He is Lord of the two east okay. and Lord of. The if there is only one east, how He can be Lord for two plus two if they are one? Mm. Obviously, here He made a mistake. It's a stupid mistake. Same time. If you notice with me here, in the translation, they say he is the Lord of the two east. But in Arabic, it does not say that. Okay. It says Lord of the two east and the Lord of the two west. If we go back to the verse you asked me to read before, which is in chapter mm -hmm. 70, verse number 40, it says, I mm -hmm. swear by the Lord of the rising places and the sitting places. So if Allah swear by that Lord, and in the other verse saying that th there is a Lord, he is the Lord of the two, e two, two east and two west. Mm -hmm. Allah swearing by who? Yes, I, I told the Muslim, to who, uh, uh, who is Allah uh, swearing to when yeah. he is the Lord? Who is a no Muslim? One will answer. Yeah, you know, the, the question is, I want all the German who they are listening. Why the Abdul who have a big mouth don't dare to call us right now? That will be a very nice to have them live with us and get us busted. What do you think, Amir? Why don't even have the courage? Amen. Okay, I have an offer for them. I have an offer. I saw a video of a guy, his name is Ramazan. I like this guy, Ramazan. He have a nice cat behind <laughs> him. I have an offer to Ramazan to give me his Skype and I will call him. I will Amen. volunteer. Will Hold on, we, we, have a, we have a Muslim is calling. Hold on, we have a Muslim. Hello? Hello? Yeah. Hello. Are you going to take uh, talk Hamza or no? Hello. Yes. Can you hear me? I hear you. Go ahead. All right. Yeah. Um. Actually, I didn't get you uh, when I was calling uh, before. Hmm. Uh, yeah. Um. So did you, did you hear what we are saying? Um. Yes, I heard what you say. Um, Did you hear about the story about your prophet killing an innocent man who commit no crime? Um, how do you know um, he don't commit crime? Because the story is saying that the guy, he did nothing, that the Muslims, they were praising him. A second ago, the Muslim, they were saying he was, do you, do you know Arabic, right? The yeah, story in front uh, of you, I, read it. Okay, read it. Here we go. The story in front of you, my friend. Hold, hold on. The story in front of you. I mean, a uh, story before. Uh, There's no story before Muhammad. He never met this man before. He never spoke to this man before. He never had anything to do with him before. The 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 Muslims they uh, uh, you know they praise him. They say he's amazing. He's so good. He is very decent. 
and this is why they mention his name to Muhammad so um, suddenly sorry, Muhammad yeah, he said to them uh, he said to them I see in his face huh I hear you go ahead okay so why he killed him the guy he was just praying too much the Muslim they praise him they say he's amazing he's so good uh, you know and he did not do anything wrong yeah and then Muhammad he says well this guy go and kill him obviously um, he, he, obviously he's jealous mm -hmm. the story here in front of you will make it more clear you can see you can see that Muhammad here is killing the man for no reason the guy he commit no crime he did nothing wrong why why he want to kill him um I think um, maybe because the other ones wanted to kill him because um, what other they, it was it was Muhammad who ordered to kill him my friend it yeah, was but, Muhammad uh, they asking, huh? um, uh, should what should we do and hmm. they were the one that uh, um, do the offer of Muhammad. So um, it's also their fault if they want to kill him. But um, uh, maybe it's because of jealousness. Maybe it's not because Muhammad only. Okay, so you are saying Muhammad he was jealous from the man, so he wanted to kill him. Um, I think um, that um, the man didn't follow the order of Muhammad. And because she insulted Muhammad, he did not do some... anything. He was praying too much. The, the the Muslims they were praising him. They were saying to him, "Look how amazing he is." He did not do anything. Um, the, the guy he commit no crime. Yeah. Where where where, the, where is the crime? Where is the crime? Where is um, where is the crime he commit? He commit no crime, my friend. Another um, scripture about this person, hmm. or is where the name is inside, or is this is the only had okay my friend my story. friend you claim that you speak Arabic right show me in the story let me let me show you the story more clear show me where in the story okay. this guy he commit any crime this is the book I'm of Musnad Ahmad ever. this is Musnad Ahmad Baqi Musnad al-Mukhtarin huh? Musnad Abu Sa'id al-Khudari and the hadith is Sahih it says here uh, uh, I, I and don't want uh, I don't claim if it's Sahih or not I just want number chapter book so that I have well in, in Musnad Ahmad it is hadith number is one zero seven three four it's in the front of you in the screen the man he did nothing he commit no crime he said nothing he was praying too much and I saw a rajulun mutakhashion hasanul hayya I saw a man who, who who prayed too much to Allah and he is a good looking he was a praying the prophet he said to him go and kill him the story in front of you all right okay why he just told him, I saw a man, he's a very good looking, and he is just praying too much. Why he need to kill him? And Muhammad, he insists to kill him. One, he sent his men one after one. Why? How many men did he send? He sent first Abu Bakr. Then Abu Bakr, yeah. he went to kill him. He went to kill him. He found him praying to Allah. So he came back mm -hmm. to Muhammad and he told him, I hated to kill him because he was praying to Allah the story in front of you and then okay. he came back to the um, Prophet he came back listen he came back to, to Muhammad and he told him what happened that he was praying too much to Allah so I hated to kill him as we see here and then the Prophet he said to Omar go and kill him um, and Omar he went uh, um, hold on and Omar he went and he found him still praying to Allah and he is very very decent man praying to Allah same as Abu Bakr, he saw him. So he hated to kill him. Then he came back. Then he said, I, he said to Muhammad, oh, Messenger of Allah, I saw him praying uh, uh, deeply and very much. So I hated to kill him. The guy obviously is a very good man. He's doing nothing praying to Allah. And then he said, Muhammad, he said, Ali. So he said to Ali, hey, Ali, you kill him. Ali, he went to kill him. And he, when he came back, he says that he he did not find him. So what what is the reason to kill him? So uh, they um, had an order to kill him, but they cannot find him. No, they or... found him first time. They found him first time, and second time, 
and third time as you see here we, uh, he sent Abu Bakr then he said uh, uh, Omar and then he said Ali according to this story here this report so each time they want to go to kill him they found the man praying to Allah which means this guy he praying and stop so what is the crime he did why Muhammad want to kill him Muhammad get jealous Muhammad he got jealous because this man he pray a lot he is a good man the Muslim they they praise him they say he's a wonderful man and Muhammad he got jealous he wanted to kill him as simple as that so you you are saying because Muhammad saw him praying and um, he killed him or is it because someone told him there is one my friend my friend there, there, is, there is there is two stories one of the stories Muhammad he spoke to him one is the other story it doesn't matter the story is saying that the guy he did nothing wrong and Abu Bakr he told him about him and Muhammad said to Abu Bakr go and kill him and then Abu Bakr he went to kill him he found him praying very much so he came back he said I could not kill him because he's praying to Allah and he is a very decent man he, he's he's a mutakhashian, mutakhashian. this is how much he's praying so then uh, uh, he said to Omar go and kill him Muhammad insists to kill him why and then Omar he went and he found him still praying again as the same as the first person Abu Bakr then he said to Ali go and kill him so Ali he went to kill him at this time he did not find him what is the reason yeah um i don't know what is the reason but the next step i want to take now is after um we see the hadith uh, with the uh, a number um um ten thousand seven hundred uh, my friend my friend you know this this is this is, a, this is a, no, okay no you are wasting my time you are wasting my time you are focusing now in the number i told you the number no 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 go 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 you see i want the number i want the number what number i just give you the number you know, I hang up on uh, on, uh, uh, on a brother Amir. Amir, call me back, please. Sorry, I, I you know I hang up on you. I, I thought I can get him join us in the because we are desperate for a Muslim. Give me the number. I gave you the number. It's right in front of you. I mean, what this comedy is about? I want to focus on the number now. Isn't it the number in the screen? <laughs> sorry, sorry, uh, uh, Amir. Hello. <laughs> Who is that? A goat we have a goat here hey Amir how are you hey brother we receive a, a call from goat before you so <laughs> <laughs> you see how you, you see how silly they are we are showing them the hadith we are showing them the reference and now he is focusing in the number the number in front of you you want to check it out? Go check it out. Here we go. This is your scholar. This is your sheikh is quoting for you the story. What this is comedy is about. <laughs> either, either, you know, and, and now look what they focus in. The they, they don't want to focus. They want to they focus on Muhammad doing a crime for no reason. They want to focus that Muhammad, uh, he killed him for a reason. But there's no reason. The guy, it says it clearly that the, he is praying very much. He is praying too much. He is a good person. He never commit a crime. Where is the Muslims who don't agree with this story? Why they don't call us? Where is the potatoes from Germany? <laughs> Do you see why I call you potato? You have a big mouth speaking to yourself, making an interview within yourself, and you win the you win the interview within yourself. What about you call us live and let us see who is the one who will laugh at you? Any Muslim? Mayday, mayday. <laughs> mayday, please. Mayday. Huh? <laughs> Who is a Muslim want to call us? Brother, let us uh, go to another topic. All right. Okay. <laughs> uh, the other uh, claims that he made in this video uh, was the satanic verses in which you gave the reference of Ibn Kathir. Mm. Ibn Kathir, uh, you gave it in your book and said Ibn Kathir proved that the story is right. Mm. But the Muslim says no. Even Kathir said that the uh, story, uh, the, the chain of narration, is not trustworthy and it, it is go, not going to the Prophet. Hmm. So, yeah. so uh, 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 when I say the Ibn Kathir, he proved the story. I am proving that Ibn Kathir he admit that there is something happened, and this is what the Muslims were talking about, right? Mm -hmm. Now, why the Muslims they will say such a thing about their Prophet if the story is false? Mm -hmm. In time, let us say Ibn Kathir is saying the truth. 
that's mean the Quran is wrong because if we go in the Quran look what the Quran says see the Muslims they get themselves busted without knowing this is the Quran chapter 22 verse number 52 it says what it says Allah will delete any verses shaitan he gave yes I, I told them the same thing mm. I said when this story is not true what Allah meant when he said I put the uh, verses out in which uh, in which Satan uh, throw it in what was this verse then uh, what was the verse no, how you Satan can how gets. you can delete something is not exist if there's no yes. satanic verses why even Allah need to speak about it why he need to say <laughs> those satanic verses I am going to delete exactly. them so this is a very exactly. stupid argument and same time uh, uh, you know if we go and, and read some reference let us see some reference to see how, how how Muslims they come with it if we go as an example to al fakhrul Razi because I saw one of your uh, those German he was talking about al fakhrul Razi what al fakhrul Razi says about that let us see let me get some reference mm. so people can laugh <clears throat> <laughs> and by the way why they didn't call us and let us see what Ibn Kathir he said Ibn Kathir he said clearly that the Arab let, let, let us go to Ibn Kathir so everybody, everybody laugh you know I want to go to Ibn Kathir so everybody will see that this is this story must be a very accurate story let us see Ibn Kathir <clears throat> Never did we send the messenger. <laughs> Never we send, yeah. But Allah, He claimed that all His messengers are scum back. All His messengers. <laughs> One hundred twenty-four thousand prophets. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, bring the message of Allah, and only Muhammad uh, <laughs> do the do the uh, perfect yeah. act. <laughs> uh, what a joke! All right, this is Ibn Kathir in front of us. And everybody will read read together when we he did recite the re re revelation shaitan throws some falsehood when he spoke and shaitan throws some falsehood in his speech is that ibn kathir saying that muslims is that ibn kathir saying that shaitan he throw falsehood in his speech or christian prince wow so Ibn Kathir is confirming, Ibn Kathir, he have an argument about the rest of the details, but he is confirming the story that Shaitan, he throw in his mouth satanic verses. And this is how you see it. Uh -huh. When he did recite, when he spoke, Mujahid said, who is the one who said that? Mujahid, not a Christian prince. Do you know Mujahid? Brother Mujahid is the brother of Zakir Naik. <laughs> he said when he did recite, when he spoke, he said that is referred to his recitation verses by the trust upon a many means a spoke into those they don't write and blah 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 okay al shaitanu fi umniyate shaitan throws some falsehood in it in his recitation not only in talk in recitation recitation only a word you use when you speak about quran when you recite quran not recite a song so shaitan he throw some falsehood in his recitation this is ibn kathir do you see it, Muslims Abdul? So why you are saying that it is not confirmed in Ibn Kathir? Let us continue. Mm -hmm. When he recite, when he recite, Ibn Jarir said, this comment more akin interpretation. By, uh, uh, but Yansahu Allah, which means Allah delete what shaitan throw in it. Meaning the word of Nasakh in Arabic, remove it or lift away. Uh -huh. So Allah will do what? Allah will lift it away. So it's confirmed in Ibn Kathir. Ibn Kathir confirmed, the scholars, they confirm that this is exactly what happened as you see. Do we have any Muslim have a comment? Allah canceled, mm -hmm. but that which the shaitan threw in. Who is the one who said that? Ibn Jarir. We have a Muslim. Let us see if we can make him join us. Is it okay if I, I take him, uh, Amir? 
Forgive me, please. Okay, bring. Yeah. 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 Hello. Hello. Yes. Can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. All right. I know that even Katia, that the Scala came out uh, at the 13th uh, century, um, where um, the um, sources of the Sunnis came from. Hmm. So, um, and um, I think there are some aspects uh, where manipulation of the resources in uh, a political sense mm. was um, mm. there um, at the later times because there are so my friend this is this is okay so you now you want to say Ibn Kathir is a liar no problem but there's tons of scholars report the same story and the Quran report the story are you saying the Quran is a fabricated book too of course, because there is the Quran is fabricated for you. Your name is Said Hamza. You are a Muslim, and you are agreeing that the Quran is fabricated. Um, it's only a minimized copy of the original Quran because there is a tafsir that says Surah mm -hmm. Al Baqarah mm -hmm. was bigger than it's now. And the thing is, why we have a hadith that says um, Surah Al Baqarah um, has. Uh, the same size as Surah 17, and it has even more verses. So um, that's only uh, that's also a thing uh, African Muslim told me because in Tambuktu the Marocans um, they attack. Uh, hold on, my Skype collapsed. Hold on, guys. Let me call him back. I don't know what happened. Maybe too many applications on. Give me a second. <clears throat> and sorry, Amir, I dropped you too. But what we can do, we have to take some Abdul. I could not join him in the conversation because he's not on my list. <clears throat> okay, our Skype is turning on. Uh, call me back. Uh, the the Muslim who was calling saying the Quran is collapsed, uh, corrupt. I don't see even his name here. Uh, here we go, uh, Said Hamza. Let me call him. Give me to give me a few minutes, please, Amir. I will call you back. So we heard this gentleman, the Muslim, saying, "Yes, of course the Quran is corrupt. Of course the Quran is corrupt." Answer, Hamza. Answer. Well, it looked like he is not here. I will call you back. Uh... Hey, Amir, sorry for that. <coughs> this is not Amir. Ah, this is a guy, his name is Mahdi, and he have a nice voice of a goat. Let me block you, Mahdi. Nice to meet you, Mahdi. You sound like Allah exactly, especially these days. <laughs> uh, we have we have the legendary Faris is trying to call many times. Let us see what Faris want. Faris is a is a is a Muslim hero who knows everything. <laughs> Hello, hey Faris. So, what do you think about what what happened to your prophet receiving satanic verses? Don't say the word, don't say bad word when you speak in that's the, it, that's it. Okay. So what do you think Seriously? about about your prophet Let's receiving satanic that. verses? Hmm? Oh. What's happening with those people? Amir, just give me five minutes, Amir. Let me let me speak to more Abdul to get Islam busted because the Muslims are the best example of how Muslims are in this ability. When it's come to Islam, just give me five minutes. <clears throat> mm. So, Faris, are you there? Hello. All right. So, what do you think uh, about you your uh, what do you think about your prophet receiving satanic There's verses? There is something wrong. I want an answer, my Hello. friend. What do you think? Do you hear me? 
You don't hear oh. me? Do you hear me or not? Or well, maybe my uh, hold on, let's see. Maybe my audio switch. Uh, it's my fault. Okay, here we go. Yeah. Now it's going to work. Let me call you back, Faris. Looked like he was not able to hear me. Answer, answer, Faris. Come on. I'm calling him. I challenge all the Muslims from Germany to call us and tell us what Ibn Kathir he said so we can love together. Who is the Muslim I do so? Hello. Yes, Hello. Faris, you hear me now? Yes, yes. Okay, Sorry. good. So what do you think, uh, Faris, about your prophet receiving satanic verses? What do you think about that? Oh, you mean Qasat al gharanik right? Yeah, what do you think about that? Yes, number one, it is wrong. First of all, the connection is good. Can you hear me properly? I hear you very good. Go ahead. Thank you so much. Mm. Um, about about this one, I mean, uh, first of all, there is no, like, you know, the Senate, mm. the, the real Senate, there is no real Senate for it, like from Abdullah ibn Abbas, from mm. this, from this, mm. from the, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Mm. If there is anything you can. Yeah, give okay. me about so why Ibn Kathir? Why Ibn Kathir mentioned what Ibn Abbas said? If Ibn yes. Abbas said that, why Ibn Abbas lying that Shaitan he throw in the mouth of Muhammad and Allah cancel it? Are you saying uh, Ibn Abbas is lying? No, no, no. I did not say that. All I, 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 I tell to you, my, hmm. the city, that you give me the Senate. Like, my friend, you, you ask, you ask, you ask your Allah what? about the Senate, my friend, wait. because this is the Quran. You wait, don't, wait, don't ask wait. me for the Senate. You see, wait. I'm reading your, yeah. I'm reading your book for Once you, and then you say to me, Once give me the finish, Senate. Me well, the I'm showing you the book in the screen. What? Once you finish, give me the time to respond because my friend, is a bad my, thing. My so. friend, my friend, you are you just asked me mm -hmm. to give you the Senate, did you? Yes, did you? Please. Okay, give me the Senate. That okay, says from the, wait, you, wait, you wait, ask wait, your wait, scholar wait, for the Senate, wait, not wait, me. Wait, you see wait, the funny wait. about Muslims wait. that give me the Senate. Why, wait, why wait, Ibn Kathir did not give you the Senate? Why you don't ask Ibn Kathir? You are learning from Ibn Kathir for centuries and you did not ask Ibn Kathir for, the, for the Senate. Why you don't ask Ibn Kathir? Once you finish. Give me the time to why you don't ask you. why you don't this ask Ibn no Kathir way. for the sand, my friend. If you want to close it, well, no problem. Well, I'm asking really, you yeah, why no you don't problem. want to ask Ibn Kathir himself for the Senate. Ibn Kathir is dead, Rahimahullah. Ah, he's dead. Okay, what about the rest? What what about what about Ar Razi? What about what about uh, Al Milal Wan Nahl Shahrastani? What about etc.? What about etc.? All of them, all the Muslim scholars, suddenly now we have no Senate. Okay. Once you finish, give me the time to respond. Is it okay? Okay, I'm, I'm listening. Is it fair enough? For I'm you? listening. Go ahead. Uh, that's good. That's mm. good. And, and don't and don't interrupt. Mm. Like I said to you, most of your like you whenever you're bringing the hadith this, this and that, you bring the senate. You mm. see, for me to believe is you see in the hadith like I, I like I will be told to the you. The senate is in the Quran, my friend. Just to show you how ignorant what? you are, the Quran yes. says that. The Quran says that. The Quran ah, says ah, yeah, is the Quran yeah. a senate or not? The Quran says that Allah wait, will cancel wait, what Shaitan he throw in wait, the mouth of Muhammad. Wait. Are you saying that Allah is wait, not a good sign for you? No, no, no. Mm. no, no, no. I did not go. Oh, wait, wait, mm. wait. Mm. Oh, I'll, okay, I'll, ma I'll make the next step because, you know, guys, unfortunately, keep interrupting. About the Quran, what is what saying? Mm. What is the purpose of this? Mm. To worship idols? To worship what? To worship idols, right? To idols? Yeah. Huh? What does, it doesn't matter. Uh, you see, for me, it doesn't. It doesn't matter. Hold on, hold on. It doesn't matter if you worship idols or not. What is matter uh -huh. is that Muhammad he spoke for Shaitan. You're a prophet. Shaitan he controlled his mouth and he he made him say verses in the name of Shaitan, claiming that those are coming from Allah. Do we agree about that? No, no, no. What do you mean, no? So, 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 explain to me this verse, my friend. Okay, hold on, hold on. Explain the verse for me. Explain the verse in the front of us. Go ahead. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. I know, I know, I know. Don't, don't interrupt. This is like the fourth, fifth time you're interrupting. You're, this habit of yours still not. I mean, the same always. 
about this one, you see, about the Hadith al-Gharanik, number one, like I said, there is mm. no real Salad. But let's assume it, there is a Salad. Mm. You see, all the life of during Muhammad, peace be upon him, mm. he was condemning about the idols okay. in, in, in his own lives. Okay, hold on. Did, did your prophet kiss a stone? Did, I mean, did your prophet kiss a black stone? We uh, yes, he did. Okay, as long he is against yes, idols did. and uh, against worshiping stones, yeah, why well, he kissed the black stone? Let's make it point by point. Hmm. Yeah, this wait, point, wait, point, wait. point, 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 because you just said point. because you just said all no, his no, no, life no, no. is against worshiping right. worshiping yes, idols. So why he kissed a stone? <laughs> there is much difference between worshiping and kissing. We are not worshiping the Kaaba. My I friend, I ask, I ask somebody who have a PhD in Islam, and his name is Dr. Rohi, and I think you know him. He said this is an act of worship. Did you agree that this is an act of worship? Yeah, and all the Muslims that spoke to me in previous videos, or you can go check them out. All agree, active. all agree that this is an act of worship. Right, okay, the question is, do we worship the Kaaba or not? This is not the question. Is it an act of worship to kiss the black stone right, or not? No. Like Why you kiss the black stone? What, you kiss the black stone as an act of worship? Yes or no? Yes or no? That, let's get the one by step by step. Do you kiss the black stone as an act of worship? Yes or no? I act. I, I, I kiss the black stone because Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him kissed it. Simple hmm. as that. So what, the pro the prophet he kisses. So you kiss it. Yes. Okay, because guys, did you hear have, this? Uh, Why they kiss the black stone? Because the prophet kiss it. Okay. Why the prophet kiss it? You see, look how look how stupid the answer is. 24 hold 24 on hold on guys look how stupid the answer is no, no, no. hold on let me talk no, no, no. i will give you time i will give you time we give you time hold on oh, yeah, how yeah. stupid it is to I say we kiss it because the prophet kiss it i'm asking you why he kiss it why he kiss it you don't know anything about your own bible i just blah 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 mm. this is all you know guys know mm. jumping from one subject to another mm. if you're a brave enough brave man enough mm. why not to going to debate so much but now you have to hide behind yourself. debate who here's the thing i will give you a very i mean i will give you a very small tip because your brain brains is food limit <laughs> go ahead and make your phone with you okay hold on hold on if i show you a snap of this if i show you a snap of this shut up shut up if i show you a snap of this right now up, what you will do up, shut up. You, I, oh, if up. i show you this is sahih al-bukhari abdul this is Sahih yeah, al-Bukhari. Yeah. I will put it in front of you. I was waiting for you to get excited. I was waiting for you. I was waiting for you to get excited. This is Sahih al-Bukhari saying that. What do you would say? I'm always excited. This is Sahih al-Bukhari. This is Sahih al-Bukhari saying that it's a hadith. What do you say? Yeah, I will put it in front of you. This is Sahih al-Bukhari. Abdul, this is Sahih al-Bukhari saying that you're a prophet. He bowed down to the idols. Are you there? Are you there? Are you going to die now on me? Don't hang up. Here we go. I'm not, I'm not going. You like four or five times you're hanging up. I'm read it. Read it. Here up. we go. This is Sahih al Bukhari. You asked me for the snap, the snap in the front of you. Lahza, <laughs> lahza. Do you want camera urine? No, I want a uh, poop sandwich. Well, poop sandwich is good because your prophet, he taught you to, to eat poop too. You want to see it? No, poop <laughs> in, the, in the Bible. Isaiah it doesn't say, my friend, that, that's a lie. That's a big fat lie. That's a big fat lie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, in, I, because you can, uh, Abdul, Abdul, you Abdul read now read, 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 read. You got busted. You got busted. This is Sahih al-Bukhari. This is Sahih al-Bukhari yeah, saying you're a prophet. He bowed down to the devil. Read yeah, it. Bust. Read it. This is the hadith of Bukhari. I told you, and you did not. This is Al Bukhari. This is Al Bukhari. This is Al Bukhari. Is that Al Bukhari or not? Is that Al Bukhari or not? Is that Al Bukhari or not? Is this is Al Bukhari or not? Shut up, you coward donkey! You ask me for the proof. This is why I, I do. I make the Muslim get excited, and now when they get them busted, they don't want to read. This is Sahih Al Bukhari, hadith number one zero seven one. Chapter the prostrating of a Muslim along with Mushrikeen. Only if you are a Muslim, call me, please. Hello, oh boy. <laughs> The Muslims are going nuts. 
The Muslims are going not. Let us call back. We got you busted, uh, Faris. Hey, Amir. Hey, brother. Sorry for that. Do you, do you see Sahir Bukhari in front of our eyes? Yeah, I see it, brother. Okay. I see it. You see, I always hide my jewel for the right time. I was waiting for them to call me and get me busted. And here we go. This is not Ibn Kathir. This is Sahih al-Bukhari. What they can do about it? Nothing. Mm. Potatoes, cowards. <laughs> Who is the Muslim from Germany? Brother Ramazan. Ramazan. We are Ramazan. Everybody is waiting for Ramazan to call us right now. And where is the guy? His name, uh, God is with us. To call us. Huh? Yes, yes. Muhammad Hijab. Muhammad Hijab. <laughs> Did your Elijah. prophet did your prophet prostrate with the mushrikeen to the pagan idols? Was sajada ma'ahu al muslim mushrikun and then Nabiya sallallahu alayhi wa sallam as sajada bin najm was sajada ma'ahu al muslimuna wal mushrikun. This is about the same story, the chapter of an najm. Do you see it? Mm -hmm. So, why you lie to us and you say. Where is the reference? Where is the proof? Where is the hadith? Where is the ref where, where do you get this from? Hold on, I have I have to hang up on you, uh, uh, Amir. Again, I have more Abdul. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Hello. Hello? Yes. Uh, I just wanted to uh, say some words to your brother Amir. Hmm. Why Why you don't want to say to me? I don't know. Why you don't say to uh, me? Speak I mean, to me. Speak to me. Speak to me. No, no. You want to speak? Speak to me. You are a coward, potato. If you are a man, you speak to me. You are calling me. You are a coward and you are a donkey. Your prophet is worshipping idols and is bowing down to idols. And now you are worried about Amir? Amir, yeah, Amir. Amir is driving you crazy, don't he? Hmm? Where is the reference? Brother, where is the reference, brother? Where is the reference? Hello? 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 Okay, we have to take another Muslim, what we can do. Hello? Yes, hello, good afternoon, good evening, good morning, whatever your time is. Thank you very much for all the uh, the, 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 the good greeting. What do you want to say, my friend? You are a Muslim, what do you want to say? I'm, a, not, I'm not a Muslim, I'm a proud Muslim, by the way. You are a proud Muslim? Proud. Yes, so proud to be a Muslim. What does that mean? Yeah. So let me tell you something. No, don't, don't tell me something. What do you think about the topic we're talking about? Your prophet is bowing so, down to the idols. Yeah. Just relax, relax. I'm we're relaxing. Going, going eat to... chocolate, eat chocolate, eat chocolate. I drink camel urine. Okay, come on, my friend. You are a proud Muslim. Well, are you proud about your I prophet do... bowing down to no. the idols, worshipping idols? Yes or no? You want to hear the answer, right? Yes, Just go relax. ahead. Go ahead. <clears throat> Let me answer you while I'm drinking my urine camel with hmm. stream oil. Hmm. Okay? Hmm. Oh. Can you show me in the hadith, where does it say that Prophet Muhammad bowed to the idols? It says in the front I of you. It says, here we go. What? And say no, no, no. Are you a certified donkey or you are not a certified donkey? Let me make a certified one. Here we go. It's in front of you. When you say to me, "Can you show me?" It's in the front of you, and you say, "Can you show me?" Read with me. Yes, sure. Read, me. Read, read with me. Read with me. Radi Allahu Anhu Ma Anna Nabiya Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Sajda bin Najm wa Sajda Maahu Al Muslimuna Wal Mushrikun. Do you see it? Relax, relax, relax. Mm. Please, mm. relax. Mm. To call me, teams. I'm not calling you. I'm just. I'm not calling you. you. I'm calling you as Allah. He called you. That's good. I okay. respect you, so please respect me. Okay? okay, go ahead. Now, why you are saying to me what it says? Show me what it says that. It says that in front of you. Okay, just mm. let me educate you. Mm. Just relax. Mm. Okay? It doesn't say here that Prophet Muhammad, this and blessing be upon him, mm. bow to any idols. I challenge you. Mm. Now, listen. Okay, hold on, hold on. No, it says that. It says that. Let me tell, let me show you it why. Because the, because the pagan, they are bowing down with him, worshipping what? 
I just wait, wait, please. You are asking me a question. Mm. So give me a chance to answer you, mm. please. Mm. You don't keep interrupting okay. me. Don't keep worry about it. Okay. You ask the question. Mm. Just give me a couple of minutes. Wonderful. To answer you. Okay. Then after that, you have a okay. minutes Wonder to answer. Okay. Yes. Wonderful. Okay. So this is good. okay. Just relax. Uh -huh. Take a deep breath. Uh -huh. I sell a cup of juice. Okay, waiting the answer. Wait, don't waste my time. Go to the answer. Did he and the no. and the pagans are bowing together? Yes or no? <laughs> Just relax. Yes no. or no? It says in mm -hmm. no, it doesn't say that until you know. Then you are not honest, so you are a coward. Swear by Allah, it doesn't say that. That both of them they are bowing together. That's... Swear by Allah, CP, by the shin please, of Allah. No, no, don't tell me CP, please. I swear by Allah, you are a liar. Here we go. This is your Muslim translation. You see, I will I will show yes. it in English. Why in the Muslim translation they are they are praying together, worshiping the same God? What is the same God? The Muslims and the pagan they worship. Go ahead. Just let me speak, please. Just I'm let asking me you. You, you are avoiding you avoiding the answer. What is the God they are worshiping there together? I wanted to show the hadith again hmm. in Arabic and English. What it does it say? I'm showing it to you in English right now, and I show it to you in Arabic. Read it for me. Go ahead. Okay. I'm reading with you now. It mm. says in front of me, mm. the prophet, I prostrated while reciting mm. and Najim mm. and with him mm. prostrated the Muslim, mm. the pagans, the jinn, mm. all human beings. Mm. Now, does it say that he was prostrating for idols? Why the what does it why say? Uh, yeah, obviously it does because if you all of you worship one god, it's yeah. mean obviously you are worshiping one god. What is the pagan worshiping? What is the pa what is the pagan bowing down for? CB, CB. When, when you're a prophet, you when ask. you're a prophet, when you're a prophet, he was a praying. He was praying to who make the pagan bow down with him. If the pagan, they don't believe in what Muhammad believed. Why they bow down with him when he recited the chapter of Andajim, which is the same chapter. He received the satanic verses according to the Quran. Allah will take it off. So Muhammad recite, recites satanic verses. The pagan, they heard him. They agree with him. They bow down with him. That's what it says. You see, I did not interrupt you. I listen to you now. Will you please be kind enough to listen to me as I listen to you? Go ahead. Don't interrupt me, Go please. Ahead. Mm. Okay, thank you very much. Mm. God bless. Now listen <coughs> and learn, please. Mm. I'm learning. First of all, I'm challenging you in the front of everybody to show me what does it say that Prophet Muhammad prospered to idols. It doesn't say that whatsoever. I, I, you, you see, came. you see. Hold on, hold on. You see, uh, uh, you, you you made a challenge. Let me let me let me answer you. You made a challenge. You made a challenge. Let me show you. Let me show you. you Come on. Skip. Let me show you, Abdul. You made a challenge. Can you show me the story? All of it is connected. Here we go. We go to Ibn Kathir. We go to Al Tabari. We go to Al Qurtubi. We go to all of them. They said, and the Quran, the Quran confirmed, the Quran confirmed that Muhammad received satanic verses when he was reciting the chapter of An Najm. Do you agree with the Quran or not? Do you agree with the Quran or not? I'm relaxing. I'm relaxing. Of Do you agree with the Quran? Do. Okay, so the Quran confirmed that Muhammad received verses from Shaitan. So now we know why Ibn Kathir and Al Qurtubi and Al Tabari and other scholars they speak in that Muhammad he bowed down and the pagans they bowed down with him. And this is exactly what is shown to us in the hadith. And you don't let me speak. Mm. You talk too much. Just let me speak. Just give me my two. You see, minutes, you keep complaining please. about let me speak. You made a challenge for me to show you. I just showed you. Relax. And can you please post again the hadith in English again? Okay. It's in the front, it's in of, front of you. Front of us. It's in the front of you. It's on okay. the screen. Good. Mm. Okay. You said that Prophet Muhammad. It says in the hadith that Prophet Muhammad bowed to the idols, right? Mm. That's what he said, right? Mm. No. Can you please read the hadith? I wanted to show me what does it say that he bowed to the idols. So, read the hadith. so I you, want it, you to read. Okay. It. So you are saying to me you want to understand that the the story or it only from this hadith, right? I'm asking you, you brought the claim that I, yeah, Muhammad it's very clear Bible. because the pagan they bow down with him. The pagan they pay the, the pagan they bow down to who? No, I'm asking you, the pagan who worship idols, they bow down to who? To idols, correct? Let me educate you just for a couple of minutes. Please. Go ahead. You are not giving me even a time. You see, you okay. can complain, Honestly, not giving me a time. Relax, relax. And when I get you busted, you don't answer. The pagan they bow down to who? I want an answer, please. Give me an answer. They bow down to who? Muhammad and the pagans, they are praying together, bowing together. Behind Muhammad, Muhammad was reciting an Najm. So the pagan, they bow down to who the mic is used. If you keep laughing, I will hang up on you because you are acting like a kid. You are like a Muhammad hijab now. Are you going to answer they are pagan, they, they are bowing down to who or not? <laughs> Please relax. Mm -mm. Please, CB. Mm -hmm. I didn't pick you up. 
just to laugh or to make fun of you. I called you. You up. cannot make fun of me. You are making fun of your God because your God is the one who said that Muhammad received satanic verses. No. It is Ibn Kathir who said so. It is Al Qurtubi who said so. It is Al Tabari who said so. And this is Ibn, this is uh, this is the uh, uh, hadith of Sahih al Bukhari saying that you're a prophet and the pagan they worship the same God. Pagan, go ahead. You are done. Promise me that you will give me two minutes without no interruption. Mm, go, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. You want to laugh? I can laugh with you. No, just tell me, please tell me. I promise you that I will need to speak for two minutes. I will not interrupt. Go ahead, go ahead. Can you do that? So, I promise me in front of everybody. Abdul, go Thank ahead. We are laughing at you. You are in trouble. Tell us, Muhammad, I want you to answer. You see, you are a potato. You will not answer because you will speak forever. You will not say anything. The pagan are praying to who? What is the common sense between Muhammad and the pagan? They are worshiping who? Excel, relax. Let me answer this, please. Go ahead. Excel, just take a deep breath and relax. Now, mm. let me read you the hadith I educate you. Don't read the hadith again. I want the answer. You see, you are, a, you are a potato. You are in the corner. The pagan, they are praying to who? The pagan, we read the hadith. The whole hadith is two line. You do not need to read it again and again and again. You are being a donkey, a certified donkey. The pagan, they are praying to who? The pagan are praying to who? Coward. Coward like your prophet. He will never answer, correct? You will never answer. You will never answer because you are a coward. The pagan praying with Muhammad to who? You know, if you will let me answer you without no interruption. I want an answer. Don't tell me. Let me read the hadith for you again and again and again. We read it already. So give me the answer. Go ahead. I promise you that I will have a debate. Go ahead again. I'm, I'm waiting for the answer. They pray to who? Go ahead. Let me educate you one by one. Relax, okay? Mm. Now, the Prophet, peace and blessing be upon him, upon him says in the hadith mm. that he prostrated while what? Reciting mm. Surat and Naj. Mm -hmm. Now, mm -hmm. when you read the Quran, you find sometimes in front of some verses, mark where you have to bow when you read such verse. Mm. So when Prophet Muhammad was reading such verse, mm -hmm. which such mark, mm. bow down, mm. bow down to Allah by reading uh -huh. the Holy Quran, mm -hmm. doesn't say that he bowed. I mm -hmm. then everybody who was with him mm -hmm. bow with him. Why they bow down? With doesn't him? they? You see, you, are, you don't answer the question. You don't answer the question. Just Why the pagan are bowing down with him when Muhammad recite and Najm? What yes. made the pagan? He is reciting Quran. He is not reciting a poet of his own. What made the pagan yeah. agree to bow down with him? The pagan are his enemy. Yeah. Don't you agree? Don't you agree that the pagans are his enemy? Don't you agree that pagans yep. or don't agree with his, his worship? So what made the, the pagan in this moment agree with him and bow down? Go ahead. My God, you are not giving anyone chance. I am giving you the answer. You know, I'm giving you the all the time, but you don't want to answer. You keep talking about things. Okay, okay Muhammad, when he recited Quran, he have to bow down. Muhammad, when he recited Quran, he have to touch his nose. Muhammad, this is not the question. What made the pagan agree with Muhammad to bow down when he is reciting and Najm? What happened? You are done. You are done. If I will no, give you me. one more, one, one more last chance. If you are not a man to answer, I will hang up on you and let you go like you are a baby, you are a kid. I want a man to talk to me. Are you going to answer or not? Everybody is laughing. Why you will not answer? What's the problem? Go ahead. Why? Let us let us let me repeat the question for the last time for you. Honest to God, if you don't answer, you are a potato and you are a coward. Why the pagan? What made the pagan? Listen carefully. Don't talk. I will repeat the question no, no, for last time. Hold on, don't talk, don't talk. What made the pagan? What made the pagan potato? What made the pagan bow down when Muhammad reciting the chapter of An Najm? What made him pay, bow down? He lost his temper. <laughs> he relaxed. He lost his mind. Wow. Your God, you, you, you're right. Your prophet, he lost his mind. You're a potato. I repeated the question one thousand times, and yet you will not answer. What made the pagans who don't agree with Muhammad, who Muhammad is in war with them, he fight them, he is against them, he hate them, he's going to kill them. What made the pagan bow down with him? Coward. All of you are the same. Cowards. The hadith here confirmed that Muhammad and the Muslim, they share one religion. It's a paganism. Are you going to answer or you are going to to uh, to play games? <clears throat> Why did you? Because you're a kid. <clears throat> I lost my voice. I lost my voice. I'm screaming. I want you to answer me, and you keep repeating the same joke. Uh, the prophet he used. Okay, so are you going to answer now, please? 
something. Are you, you going to answer? Don't tell me something. Are you going to answer? Yes or no? What made the pagan in this moment to bow down with Muhammad? Go ahead. You were sitting you are in a corner. Hadith doesn't say that he bowed to bow Well, to everybody pagan. is laughing. You can say whatever you want. Let us see who is in the corner. The hadith is confirmed by the Quran. The hadith confirmed by the Quran and by the Sunnah and by all the interpretation of Muslim scholars that Muhammad and the pagan they bow down because Muhammad he recited a satanic verses unless you are saying the Quran is a lie and this is here report exactly what happened you see I lost my voice screaming asking them to read yes Hamza hello yes can, uh, you can hear me I hear you all right um yeah um mm. i think uh, that um hello i hear you go ahead all right um i think that uh, there are many gods but there is only a lot of worship since the beginning so the jinns are also gods but uh, get lost I mean, where this guy is coming from? This is a funny Muslim. There's many gods, and I mean, there's a jinn. They worship a god. Uh, uh, here we go. <laughs> Too much hashish. Too much hashish. There, there's other Muslim trying to call me. Let's see this one. Hello. <clears throat> okay, your mama is saying hi to you. Mm, this is what the Muslims can do. No problem. Hello? La ilaha illallah. Oof, 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 oof. Allah, 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 Allah. Allah, 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 Allah. Man, that's a lot. <laughs> Don't call me, kid. Don't call me. The guy who believed that genie are God, whatever. Stupid thing. You see, all the reference in the front of us confirm the same incident. Muhammad and the pagan, suddenly, they share the same God. Muhammad was reciting something, made the pagan bow down with him. What is that thing? He was saying that the three daughters of Allah, their intercession is a must. Otherwise, why the pagan will bow down with Muhammad when he's reciting Quran? This is Quran. He's not reciting uh, uh, like a, a prayer of the pagans unless, you know, it is. it, it was not reciting Quran. It says here he was reciting an najm specifically. And this is what the story is about. The chapter of an najm, as we see in front of us, is the same chapter speaking about Muhammad. Which confirm in Al Hajj chapter 22 that he always do that and he worship the devils. Allah he confirmed that Muhammad he receives satanic verses. We go to the interpretation, the scholars. Ibn Abbas he confirmed that Muhammad he received satanic verses. Is Ibn Abbas is a liar? Is he? Why Ibn Abbas want to say such a thing if it's not true? As you see in the front of you, when he recite, when he spoke, it said, it referred to his recitation, recitation. And here we see, it says, Shaitan throws some falsehood in it. So it's confirmed that Muhammad, he received some satanic verses and remember by the way the quran was not organized the same way it is today there's nothing it's called a chapter of a najm or a chapter of etc or a chapter of etc this is something later happened so when muhammad received this verse and he prays the pagan gods the three daughters of allah the pagan they bow down with him and they liked what he said because this is what they believe. Muhammad, he just admitted that this is what he believe. If we go to the Islamic interpretation,
let us see another Islamic interpretation. Or let us say there's a book, it's called the book of Asbab al Nuzul. Asbab al Nuzul. Guys, don't PM me unless it is necessary, please. And don't text me. Who wanna? Hello. Hello. Yes. Yeah, hi. This is Abbas. Hi, Abbas. How are you? So, Abbas, what do you think about your prophet receiving Hello? satanic verses? I hear you. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. No, you didn't receive satanic. You did not. Okay, this is the you book. This is Tafsir al Jalal line. This is Tafsir al Jalal line. What do you say? This is Tafsir al Jalal in front uh, of your eyes. I'm sorry. What? What? One second, uh, so sorry, just just one second. Uh, mm. I think there's a double sounds mute YouTube so you will not hear me twice, please. And I apologize from yeah, here. I, I'm sorry about that, Amir. Uh, I apologize from you if you hear me because, as you see, we want to get them busted with this. And we I'll, I'll tell you back. There's, there's some problem. One second, one second. Okay, guys, this is Tafsir al Jalalain. This is Tafsir al Jalalain. This is the official government website of the Kingdom of Jordan. This is the Muslim translation. And this is the address of the website you contact you can contact them in the kingdom of Jordan. This is a website owned by the king himself who claimed that he is from the children of Muhammad. What it says. Hello? Yes, Abbas. Hello. I hear you, my friend. Yeah, hi, uh, yeah, ab yeah, about it, um, this um, Surah Najm. Mm. Uh, you asking a question why the pagans bow down. Mm. But uh, do you believe that the pagans used to worship Allah along with the other gods? Yeah, but there is a reason he made them. Allah. Like the, no, no, no. You see, the pagans don't pray with Muhammad in the same time because Muhammad was reciting Quran, was not reciting their prayer, correct? So the pagan don't worship with Muhammad. This is not the question. This is not the question. That. Muhammad he was reciting he, Quran. Was Muhammad reciting Quran or something else? Of course he was reciting okay. Quran. Yes. What made the the one who don't believe in the Quran bow down when Muhammad reciting mm -hmm. Quran? The question is what they were doing there when he was reciting Quran. Because because he is in front of them, he came to them, he's trying to deceive them. Muhammad, he go to the Jews, he claimed to be a Jew, he go to the Christian, he claimed to be a Christian, he go to the Sabah and he claimed to be Christian, and now he's with the with, with the pagan, he claimed to be a pagan. And this is exactly what happened. He thought nobody would hear him from the rest. So he said that I praise the satanic verses. I I, I, I praise the daughter of Allah. And because he said that, he bowed down and they heard him saying that. So he, the second you say the names of those gods, those Arab, they bow down. So they heard him saying that the, 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 the daughters of Allah, their intercession is a must. And he bowed down. Everybody bowed down right away because those are their gods. Muhammad was reciting okay. Quran, was not reciting uh, uh, Mickey Mouse. So why the pagan will go down with him? Because he mentioned the names of their gods. The second okay, you mention the name of their assumption. god, huh? That, that is your assumption. No, this is not my assumption. No, I here we go. No, this is not my. This is not my mind. Here we go. Can this I, is this is your scholar, my friend. Is, is a Jalalain is my scholar or yours? Uh, he was a human being. Uh, here we go. Muhammad was a human being too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no. I mean, Abbas, yes, yes, don't was. play this game he with was. me. I mean, what what, what, the, what does that mean, a human being? So what is a human being? What does this have to do with this? I, cannot, I am a human being, and you are a human being. Cannot, so now you will give me an answer of a, you, you, you. You will give me an answer of a human being, or you will give me an answer of God. You will give an answer of a human being. So how come you, he's a human being, he's a stupid, but you are the human being who is a smart? Why the scholar, he be called a scholar, and you are not called a scholar? The guy who called me before, he refused to read, he refused to, 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 to answer the question because he's a coward. Show me where there it says he bowed down to the idol. It's obvious. Here we go. It's in a confirm in front of us. Shaitan, he put in his mouth satanic verses to worship what? To worship the daughter of Allah. The pagan, they were with him. They heard the names of the three daughters of Allah. And immediately they bowed down because this is their God. What do you think? Uh, it seems like I'm in your lecture. I'm not allowed to speak. My friend, in order to prove me wrong, you have to show me that how I'm wrong. Can you get me busted? I'm showing you a Jalalain. I'm showing you Ibn Kathir. I'm showing you Sahih Bukhari. I'm showing you Quran. So in order to say to me, you are wrong, you have to say to all those names, you are wrong. Are you there?
Are you there? Call me back. Amir, my friend, are you there? I really, really apologize from you. <laughs> I will I will call you back after we finish this. Guys, do you see it? They try to run away from it. Hey, you guy, the one who worship you, you say you say stupid things for me. Why are you calling me back again? Why are you <clears throat> calling me? Hello? Are you there? Okay, I tell you why. Mm. Um, because, yeah, uh, because um, I won't answer so many Islam things. Because you know that in Saudi, uh, uh, yeah, I'm here. Mm. Uh, um, in Saudi Arabia, they are stoning obelisk and they call it Dijal stoning, Satan stoning. Mm. So for me, um, it was a sign. That um, they believe in and many satanic things. Hmm. So, okay, God's okay, Hamza. So, are you willing to leave Islam right now? Because you just said something very important that Islam is a, is, a, is a false religion. They believe in many things. So, why you, you why you call yourself a Muslim? Why you don't leave Islam? Um, because it's dangerous. Because, ah, so okay. Uh, so you are saying you agree to leave Islam, but because you are scared. Um, maybe. <laughs> okay. So where are we going? You left Islam already, my friend. You just did. Yeah. Okay. So I'm happy for you. Islam is a stupid religion. I agree. It's satanic. I agree. It's a pagan. I agree. And you just agree with me. But you don't want to say I'm lifting Islam, but you left Islam. Your comment. Okay. Yeah. Um, you talking about uh, no no what to tell me yeah uh, now say say it say it. I I am out of Islam. I am out of this stupid religion. I want to hear it from you. Say it clearly, be a man. Come on. Okay, when we uh, continue the topic, I will say that. All right, then we go to many other. No, as long as you agree that Islam is satanic and there's many stupid beliefs in it, why you don't you are you not willing to say I am out of this cult? Why you don't say that? Um, I am out of this Syrian cult. They make many they mix many codes with the pagan things. So All right, thank you very much. I'm so happy for Mr. Hamza that he decided to leave this cult of Islam. We are very happy for you. Continue, my friend. We are listening. Okay, um, there are many things. Uh, that was bothering my head because um, some say um, that, for example, um, Allah came from the Coptic Syrian Christian text or the Aramaic. But I don't even believe that because um, Allah is a word must be older than the Arabic we have now, and they called many gods Allah. So. Um, where Allah truly originated, the research I made was that th this um, name has to call God before even Al Ilah was there. It was a Hamitic name for a God because I watched a documentary. Mm. There was a Dogon African tribe that mm. said Allah. Long before there was Muhammad, it was even thousands of years ago, okay. and I keep wonder myself. So why they are using different gods and mix all scriptures together and say then in the end, um, okay, we worship Allah and no idols. Okay, but let me let me add, let me add some information to you, my friend. Let me let me show you something. First of all, you are right in somewhat what you said. Allah is not actually that the name Allah is not really the name of the Islamic God. His name is Lah, not Allah. Lah. If you go in the Quran, if you go in the Quran, the first chapter, chapter one, verse number one, this is the easiest way to explain it to you. You will see here in Arabic it says, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Bismillah ar Rahman ar Rahim. You will notice that the second word here, there's no alif. Alif in Arabic means a. Why? Okay. So what happened to this alif? Why this alif disappear? Simply because this is not part of the name. You see, if the name have alif, we cannot take it off. We can't. We cannot take a letter off, right? It have to be seen there. Um, so it's gone. Hold on. Don't talk. Don't talk. Don't talk. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. So bism bismillah in the first verse is not appearing the same as the second verse. The second verse it says alhamdulillah. 
لا اوكي اوكي لا لا از ذا نيم اوف ذا جاد اوف اسلام لي هير از ا وورد مين تو سو الحمد لي لا حمد مين ثانكس لي I will, I will I will write for you the word the, the li in in a different color. I will make it in a green. Here we go. So this mm -hmm. is the li, li la, which means to la. So the name of the god of Islam is la, and anyone can go right now check out. You will find that la is the moon god. This is not a new god. This is a god exists long before Islam, and Muhammad is just copying what the Arab and people believe. There is mm -hmm. the people who live in Europe, most of them, they worship a sun god, the sun, mm -hmm. which is a sun, the star. And those who live in a warm area, desert, they worship the moon god because the moon is nicer to them and he is more merciful. He don't kill their animals, he don't kill their grass, he don't destroy their water and their goods. But they don't die from thirst because of it. So the those who live in Africa or live in the desert, most of them, this is why we go in the Quran, we will find that the name of the city which Muhammad is speak about, or the Quran is speak about to be the city of Muhammad, it's called Mecca. Mecca. Mm -hmm. But in different verse in the Quran, it says Bakka. So is it Bakka or, or, or Mecca? It is the same, simply. In chapter 36, verse number 96, it says, it is he who put the first house in the city of Bakka. Okay, what is Bakka? If you ask any Muslim, for sure they, they try their best to explain. The fact this is, was nothing except saying that the first temple was built for Allah was in the city of Bakka, which is in Yemen. And there's a temple there is called the Temple of Makkah. In the in the in the in the in the in the, in the, uh, uh, in the language there, they, they switched letters. So sometimes the B became or the K became Qa. So Makkah became Mecca. So people, that's why Muhammad, he said, send me the Quran in seven letters. Why? Because people, they have to support a different dialect. So in, what is Ka for the Arab in the Arabian Peninsula is a Qa for the one who live in Yemen. So Makka mm. is Makka, same as Bakka, mm. which is coming from the Aramaic language too. So the, the temple of an Yemen, which is built by the Sabian, not by the mm. Arab, the Sabian, who they are coming from north of Iraq, where Abraham is coming from them, the Sabian, they are the one who built the temple of Makkah and the religion was the biggest religion ever exists in the Middle East. To the point even the Sabian, they believe that the Pharaoh himself was a Sabian. This is why the Sabian, they hate the Jews because they believe that the God of the Jews, Adonai, he destroyed the army of the Sabian king, the Pharaoh. So this is the moon God, which is worshipped by people long before Islam, as you said, even in Africa, and worship in many places, not only there, and it is mm. lah, not Allah. Al in in the in the, Arab, mm -hmm. in, the in the ancient language. Um, Al can I to uh, one surah in the Quran uh, because there are written four letters, and many people say in Surah ten verse one, mm. it's also about Allah. So um, we have different writings and meaning of the word Allah itself. I asked some guys. And one of them saying hmm. that when you write Allah in a certain way, hmm. it means boom. So hmm. in this culture, why they have so many things, Allah, Azar, uh, and these things, and they can mean thousand things, but okay. they say they worship one God, Allah. Okay, okay my friend. I, I, have to, I have to let you go. I think, I, I'm happy for you that you left Islam. Uh, good for you. You can call me later so we can take more Muslim calls. But I, uh, I want you to listen to what I will say next so you can learn something. Mm -hmm. In chapter of Yasin, chapter 36, it says, yes, yes, Yasin. Ya, ya, in the old ancient Aramaic is a word meaning God. Sin is the moon God. You ask the Muslims, what does this mean? They don't know. This is one of the names of the God of Islam. Ya, sin, go right now and search in Google, God sin like in English today you say don't do this this is sin where this is coming from because when the when the people became Christians they used to worship a God which is a false God then anyone who do pagan stuff they say this is sin by doing something pagan it is sin 
so it's sin to do adultery it's sin to steal it's sin to do this it's sin it's sin because this is pagan so yeah sin and look what the Muslim they, they give interpretation for the verse God, Allah knows best what he meant I mean this is stupid this is stupid what do you mean Allah knows best yeah like even a Christian today they say yeah way yeah way right okay yeah, in the original meaning in the language, remember because the Christian and the Hebrew they are not coming and born from the middle of nowhere, they are using languages. The, the, the new language of the Hebrew is born of other languages, it's not exist by itself alone, same as the Arabic. So they took from the Aramaic and the Aramaic they took from people before them, and yeah is a word meaning God. God he presents himself in the Bible without a name. There's no name. I am the one who is exist. The Hebrew, they have a new language now, and they have a new new meaning. But nobody can get rid of the older version of the languages. Yeah, is a word meaning God. Yeah, sin. Yeah, is the God. Sin is Allah. Hello. Hello. Yes. Hello? Yes, Abbas, I hear you. Hello? I hear you, man. Hi, uh, this is Abbas. Okay, Abbas, what do you say? We go back to zero. Ajalalain is saying that you're a prophet, he receives satanic verses. What do you do? Seriously. Hmm. It's in front of you. You can read. Alicia, oh. Alicia, I lost that again. Focus with me, please. Here, hello. Can yeah, you hear I'm me? with you. I'm with you. What do you want to say, my friend? I'm so, I'm so, so I'm sorry. I'm it's just right. having a problem there. Okay. Yes, yes. So what you were saying? So okay. A uh, Jalalain in front of us says that your prophet you receive a Jalalain here in front of us says and Ibn Kathir and the hadith and the Quran confirm yes. that you're a prophet you receive satanic verses so yes. what is your comment yes um uh, Jalalain, as i said the look uh, as a human being as i was saying he was in, he's not infallible i mean you are a very clever man but i'm sure you believe that you are not infallible as well mm. you can also make mistakes as well mm. but yes, i but, as, a, as a muslim strictly follow quran my friend i'm not i'm not the one saying sunnah, that. okay but the quran says hadith. but the quran says that Allah, he's a Allah, he will delete the satanic verses. Was the Quran too uh, mistaken? Mistake? Quran, did, Quran, did, Quran didn't talk about satanic verses, or uh, what you're talking about. No, the Quran says that Allah will delete the satanic verses, whatever satan he throw, Allah will delete, correct? Mm, read the right, read the verse. Okay. I think you're confusing. Go. It's in front of you, it's in front of you, it's in front of you. Never yeah, we yeah. send a messenger before. But when he talk, uh, Shaitan he throw in his mouth, uh, you know, words. Read it. Ma min what, chap what chapter and verse you? Chapter twenty-two, verse number fifty-two. Wa ma arsalna min qablaka min rasul wa nabi illa ida tamanna alqa shaytanu fi umniyatihi fa yansakhu Allahu ma yulqi shaytan. We never send a messenger or a prophet, but Shaitan he throw in his mouth his words, and Allah will delete what Shaitan he throw in his mouth. What do you say? Mm -hmm. Okay, I say this. Uh, go to the interpretation. I, interpretation I did. I did. Normally... I did. You just said to me that the interpretation it is a human. No, 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 no. This chapter. No, no. This chapter twenty-two. This yeah. chapter twenty-two. Interpretation of chapter twenty-two. Go to that and yes, see what you they do. It's in the front of you. It. It's in the front of you. You told me this is a. This he's making a mistake. It's in the front of you. This is interpretation. Let us go. Yeah. Hold on. This is interpretation. Chapter twenty-two. Of chapter twenty-two. Yeah. Yes. Verse yeah. number fifty-two. It's in front of you. Yeah. This is Tafsir yeah. Jalalain. It says, yeah. but when he recited the scriptures, Shaitan, Satan cast into his recitation what mm -hmm. is not from Quran, but which those whom the Prophet had been sent with the follower following verses from the Surah of An-Najm. You see, here we go. It's a Najm. Have you considered Allah and al uzza Your Prophet, he said, have you considered Allah and al uzza the one who called me before you, the Muslim who was laughing too much, he was laughing at his prophet. 
because he didn't mm -hmm. want to say he didn't want to agree that when his prophet was reciting in Najm, the pagan they bow down because he was worshiping in the the the, the, the and Uzza. And look here, it's confirmed. Have you have you following the following verses recited this in the Surah Najm? Have you considered Allah and Uzza and Manad the third one, chapter fifty? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, and here he quotes for us the verses fifty three, etc. Then he says, added. A result of Satan casting them into his tongue without uh, uh, his uh, the prophet being aware of the following words. Do you see it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 I see it. And I then Jibreel, it. Jibreel came to him after a few weeks. He said to him, Habibi Muhammad, this is not from Allah. However, read with me. Jibreel, however, later informed his him, the prophet, of his the, the Satan had cast into his tongue. I mean, how in the world this happened? Jibreel later informed him. So Muhammad, the uh, the pagan, they bow down with him. The Muslim, they bow down with him. Everybody bow down, and nobody noticed that he is worshiping the three daughters of Allah. Nobody noticed what he what they just heard. Mm -hmm. And then okay, Jibreel then came to him and says to him, "Oh, oh, 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 oh. this is not from Allah. I, this is not from Quran." I heard, hmm. I heard the old story. I read the some interpretations, and also even. Uh, Ibn Ishaq biography as well. He said the similar thing as well. Mm. I heard these things before, but now I'm asking you an honest question. Mm. A question I want, I expect an honest answer from you. Mm. Since you have a lot of information, you have read a lot of different interpretations. Mm. Now, my question to you is about this chapter 22, the verse you read. Other interpretations and Tafasi, mm. they all agree with this uh, Jalalain or they disagree with him? Well, you, you Muslims, here we go. You, you are one of them. You don't agree with him, right? Do you agree with him? You don't. No, no, no. I'm asking you a question. You see, hey, the Muslims are what? fighting. Why, this why, this why is not my business. This is not my business. This is not my business, my friend. If you're Muslims, let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. Let me answer you. Let me answer you. There's many Muslims. They find it that this is very embarrassing. So what they say, they deny it, but they cannot deny it. It's there. You see, if you deny it and you claim to be a scholar, it does not make you really getting away from it because the Quran confirming it. And when Ajalalin he write it, and when Ibn Kathir he write it, and when the scholars rewrite it, why they write it? Why why it is there anyway if it's not true? CP, if you as a human being, you trying to convince me on something, yeah, mm. you you have to convince me properly. You might convince some people who are my friend. Here we go. I will convince you ah. from the verse in the Quran. I will convince you. Forget about Ajalalin. Allah will take oh, what Shaitan. Wow. Hold on, right. hold on, hold on, hold on. You see, don't, don't because you, because you are being foolish I, now. I showed you a Jalalain. You said I don't want a Jalalain. I showed you Ibn Kathir. You want a, you don't want Ibn Kathir. Which one you want? Okay, give me the, give me the interpretation you like. I right. ask you a question. Huh? Give me the interpretation you, you like. Question. Hold on. No, 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 no. Don't 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 play. Don't play. Show me the interpretation you like, and I will open it for you live in front of everybody. Go ahead. That was not my question. No, I, no, no. I want you to get you, uh, either you get me busted or you get you busted. Show me the interpretation you like about this verse. Listen, you can. I don't mind. Listen, I, here we here we speak with reference. I'm showing my reference. Can you, you show can. me your reference? Can you show me your reference? Which is scholar is the one you like him to explain this verse? Go ahead. You can bust people all before long before like you mentioned to me. To you. Is it you? Well, is not, it you I'm, who mentioned to me Al Maududi before? What do you I'm think about Al Maududi? I'm not here to bust. You. Aren't you the one? You cannot bust me. I'm a Christian prince. Your <laughs> yeah, God I, cannot. Listen, and here we go. I'm no, challenging your life. I, I, I am I'm challenging your life. Me. What is the interpretation you like me to show you about this verse? What's wrong with you? Why can I you answer my question straight? Because you are a coward. Why you don't want to quote for me one interpretation you like? Just one. We have hundreds. We have thousands. Even Give me an interpretation. Here we go. I was. <clears throat> I'm losing my voice. You can, guys. Here we yeah, go. You can, listen, yeah, Abdul. You, you, listen, you, you, Abdul. You need, you look how many. Look how many. Look how many. Look how many interpretation I can show you. Look, 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 look. Which one you like me to show you? Give me one. Yeah, can I say something now? No, you cannot. I'm still ask you me. cannot. I want you to show me reference. Don't give me a speech. I'm, I'm letting you finish a speech. Me. No, I don't want your speech. You I'm not making a speech. Get, 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 get away, man. I want a man to speak to me, not kids. Show me a reference you like. Show me a scholar you wish. Don't give me a speech. Let me talk, man. Let me talk, man. I'm not. I'm not asking you here just to talk. I want you to show me reference. Which one of those you like me to read for you?
Shia or Sunni? What do you want? I show them reference. They give me speeches. I ask them questions. They give me. They give. They give me. <laughs> he wanna be like that. The other guy, like Muhammad Hijab. <laughs> relax, relax, Christian friends. Relax, relax, Christian friends. I'm relaxing. Are you? What was the reason made the pagan when Muhammad was reciting the chapter of An Najm to bow down? What was? The answer in front of us. He recited the names of their gods. He said, when he was the prophet had it during the assembly of the men of Quraysh. So he came to them, Quraysh. He thought there's no Muslims there, only Quraysh, the non-believers. After reciting the following verses from the Surah of an najm have you considered Allah and Al-Uzza and Manad, the third one? Added as a result of Satan casting into his tongue without him, I think you want to say him, not his, him, the prophet, being aware of the following words. What is the following words? Read with me carefully. Those are the high flying grances of Al Gharaniq. Indeed, their intercession is to be hoped for. And so they, the men of Quraysh, were thereby delighted. Do you remember, guys? I asked the Abdul who was laughing like a, like, like, like a funny cartoon. I keep saying to him, okay, what made the pagan in this hadith bow down with Muhammad? There's something happening here. Christian Prince, show me where he says the pagan. My friend, what made the pagan when they are pagans to bow down? What Muhammad said make them bow down? Do you remember, guys? He refused to answer. Let us call again, Amir. I dropped him. I apologize from you, Amir. Really. <clears throat> hey, Amir. Hey, brother. I really apologize from you, but we have to to make hummus. What we can do? <laughs> <laughs> Too much hummus, brother. Yeah, I cannot take you and take them in the same time. We need the hummus. And as you see, here we go. This is Sahih al Bukhari, and this is the interpretation. They don't like Ibn Kathir, we show them a Jalalain. They don't like a Jalalain, we show them, we will show them whatever they want. All of them, they confirm to us one story that Muhammad was a pagan man, was a hypocrite man, and now he played the game. Like, it's not my fault. It is Shaitan he put in my mouth. You're right. <laughs> Shaitan he put in your I mouth mean, to worship. Not I mean, all, how stupid this story is. Not only he said that, he bowed down too. This is a disaster, you know. And then the Muslim they say to us, "Oh, in Ibn Kathir it does not say so. We got you busted." Ibn Kathir he agree that yes, Shaitan he cast. What Ibn Kathir don't agree about is some details about what happened after. Mm -hmm. Read with me. This is Ibn Kathir. Who is the Muslim wanna call me and tell me what Ibn Kathir he said? Hmm? As long as you have a big mouth to speak about Ibn Kathir did not say that, did not say this. Call me. <laughs> this is Ibn Kathir. This is the whole interpretation in front of you. Read as you wish. Choose the line you want. Coward and liars. It is amazing how they fabricate a try to solve a problem. You cannot solve a problem by lying, my friend. It doesn't help you. This is Ibn Kathir, as it is in the front of us, our, our eyes. 
when he recited the revelation shaitan threw some falsehood in it challenge for the abdul who don't like what i said who can quote for me what shaitan he throw in his mouth this is confirmed in ibn kathir what happened hmm? if we go right now to read a chapter of an najm chapter an najm We will find the same story. Any Abdul? <clears throat> and you will see, guys, that many, many, many of those who don't believe in Islam, they thought Muhammad, he became one of them. At this point, many of the scholars of Tafsir mentioned the story of Gharaniq and how many of those who had immigrated to Ethiopia came back. Look, look, who is the one who mentioned the story of Al Gharaniq? The scholars. Do you see it? At this point, who is talking Ibn Kathir? At this point, the scholars of Tafsir mentioned the story of Al Gharaniq. And how many of those, guys, please stop calling me if you're not a Muslim. Only Muslims call me for now. And how many scholars, okay, I will block you then. Seriously, I will block you. If you call me one more time, I will block you, the guy who keep calling. Okay, let me block you then. Hold on. Some people they have a madness. All right. Who are the ones saying that it's not a Christian prince? Many scholars of Tafsir. Let me take this Abdul, Amir. Forgive me again. Abdul is calling. <laughs> hello. Yes, hello. So Hi. are you going to show me, are you going to say something useful or just, just you want to make a speech? Well, looks like, no, no. I, I was never going to give a speech. Mm -hmm. I was just asking, since you have more information than me, do you know which interpretation? All interpretation agree with Jalala and you didn't ask. Them. Never, never mind. You asked me, okay, give me one interpretation. Yes, yeah? so mm. I was looking into it mm. because I didn't have all the information in front oh, of me. All right. So I, I look and you say, okay, give me one interpretation. Mm. So I look into Maududi. Yeah. Okay, you like and Maududi? Ma well, I well, you can read Maududi, but I, I say, <laughs> I think you should read the Qurtubi uh, Al Ibn Kasir. Mm. If all agree with Jalalan, then you have a point. Okay. Ibn Kasir, here we go. Ibn Kasir in front of me. Read okay, what Ibn Kasir says? Read. Yeah? Okay. read with me. Ibn Kathir, this is Ibn Kathir, chapter mm -hmm. 22, verse number 52 to 54. Mm -hmm. How the shaitan threw some falsehood into the word of the Messenger of Allah. This is this, this is the title. Do you see it? Yeah. Okay, so Ibn Kathir yeah. agree that shaitan he throw words mm -hmm. in Muhammad's mouth, correct? Read all of it. Okay, but he agree or not? The title, the title, okay, the title is explain the Quran, correct? So he agree. Read with me. At this point, many of the scholars tafsir mentioned the story of Al Gharaniq. Do you see it? Mm -hmm. What is Al-Gharaniq? Do you know? <clears throat> Al-Gharaniq? No, I don't know what is that. The flying daughters of Allah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And how many of those who had immigrated to Ethiopia came back when they thought that the idolater of Quraysh had become Muslims? Why they became why they thought they became Muslims? Do you know why? Yeah, because they um they thought they, they they bow down with Muhammad. Thank you very much. Ah, yeah. thank you. You are being smart. Now. Isaac, so, guys, hold on, hold on, hold on. You are the one who asked me for Ibn Kathir, right? Okay. So they, I didn't. they bow down. You are the one who said Ibn Kathir. No, you said that. I didn't. Huh? Guys, did he say to me, go and read Ibn Kathir? I said I said I was reading Maududi. Okay, then give me give me a link. Give me a link for Maududi. Give me a link for Maududi. Go ahead. Give me a link. I I can't. I'm not that savvy in this thing. You no, know, so, uh, give me a link so I can show you Al Maududi. I, I thought you already have it. You want me to read? I don't have it in English. Maybe I can find it in Arabic. Let's see if I can find it in Arabic. Hold on. You want me to read Maududi? Mm. Yeah, read. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, Maududi <laughs> uh, interpret like this. He says, if the first meaning is taken, it will imply Satan mm. tried to prevent the fulfillment of his desire. Mm. If the second meaning is taken, mm. it will imply. When the Prophet, peace be upon him, recited the revelations, Satan created different sorts of doubts about its truth and meanings in the minds of the people. Mm. 
Whereas Maududi says, it's the people who are so hearing on, his on, words. On, on what does that mean? Like, what, what does that mean? Meaning when Muhammad is reciting some uh, verses, okay. the people have different understandings. It's Satan making them understand differently. Like ah, when, you know, but even, what, even but hold, hold on, hold example, on. I read the same hold verse. On, hold on, hold on, hold on. ISIS, ISIS understand the words okay, differently. Okay, no, 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 you see. And I but is the words that, that's mean Al-Mawdudi is a certified donkey because the Quran says, <laughs> okay. that, yes, because the Quran says Allah will throw what to throw in his prophet, not in the mind of the people. So how al Maududi say such a thing, stupid thing, against the Quran? Isn't it the Quran in front of you saying that shaitan he throw in the messenger? Never did we send a messenger or a prophet before you, but what? whenever he had a desire, mm. Satan interfered with that desire. Mm. Allah, so, Allah, so, Allah, okay, Allah. So, so who is the one who shaitan he throw in his desire? The prophet or the followers? The prophets. Hey, thank you. Muslim. But Al Maududi, no. he said the opposite. Al Maududi, he said that they have wrong understanding. <laughs> so, Maududi, as a scholar, disagree with. Let's go, go. Let's go. Your Maududi is no scholar. He's a potato. He's a donkey. How he say that they they got wrong understanding? Where 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 does that exist? It says here he will cancel it from the Quran. I mean, what, what, this is Maududi, this is a sheikh, this is a donkey. Go and use his papers for his book to, 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 to a, a toilet paper. The Quran says Allah will cancel what shaitan is throw in the mouth of the prophet, not in the mouth of the believers. I mean, can you find me a one Muslim have a brain? It's impossible. According to scientific study by Dr. Zakir Naik, that the Muslim brain is the most expensive brain. Why? Because it's never been used. And we show them their scholars one by one, and they run away from it. Where is the guy who was laughing before? What is the Abdul who called me? Christian Prince, relax. Christian Prince, relax. Does it say there by Bacon? A Christian Prince, does it say there he the idols? A Christian Prince. Relax, relax. Ha ha ha. Relax. <laughs> I feel sorry. I keep losing uh, Amir. <clears throat> Let us take Amir. And forget about that dude. <laughs> hey, Amir. Hey, Mute you too, please. Okay. So, what do you think, Amir, about what's happening today? The Muslims in chaos, right? <laughs> yes. Where is the where is the Muslims in, where is the Muslim from Germany? I mean, how come we cannot find one one hero from Germany? From those who have a big mouth, they want to call me right now and get me busted. Why do they want to do that? Yeah, because they are afraid, brother. Why is a Jalalain a person work for a Christian Prince? I want to know. Shame on you, a Jalalain. Did a Jalalain okay. say it? That you're a prophet, he said, when he was reciting the chapter of An Najm. Have you considered Allah and Al Uzza and Manad the third one? Uh -huh. Have you considered them the flying Brother, daughters of Allah? Now the Muslims say the tafsir of Al Jalalain is uh, daif. <laughs> All of them, they are daif. They can say whatever they want. They can say whatever they wish. Who care? You see. When when you say that we are we are quoting a false story, then you have to attack your scholars. Even Ibn Kathir says many scholars they mention that. And look what Ibn Kathir he says. Ibn Kathir he said it clearly that when Muhammad he did that, many they thought that the people of Quraysh became. Read with me carefully. Let me show everybody. Guys, read. This is Ibn Kathir. They are right in the top of the page. At this point. Many of the scholars of Tafsir mentioned the story of Al Gharaniq and how many of those who had migrated to Ethiopia came back. 
they thought that the idolaters of Quraysh had become Muslims mm -hmm. why they thought that because of the story of Al-Gharani because Muhammad and the Muslim when the pagans suddenly they are praying together bowing together worshiping the same God because the news came that the idolaters they are praying behind Muhammad and obviously this is cannot be one time incident it cannot be because as you see the news went all day to Ethiopia that's mean Muhammad for a certain time was doing that for not one time not two time not three time otherwise how such a thing went all the way to Ethiopia and the Muslims who went to Ethiopia as a refugee they are now believing that it's time to go back because look like all the pagans became Muslims and what made the pagan pray behind Muhammad because you know and look here they say to you but those reports all come through morsel chain of narration I don't think that any of them may be regarded as Sahih maybe this is a make theory but if you go to Al-Jalalain, actually, before we go, if you go here in Ibn Kathir himself, you will see the following. Ibn Kathir, he confirmed that he is a stupid too. In his recitation, <laughs> because, yeah, because how you say, how you say it is not Sahih, he's talking about what not Sahih. He's talking here that here, that those who they, they hear the story in Ethiopia, they are not, this story here is not a Sahih narration. But here you go down, Ibn Kathir, he confirmed the story. He says in his recitation of Revelation when he spoke, Shaitan throws some falsehood into his speech. So this is what Ibn Kathir agree upon. What Ibn Kathir did agree upon, that this is about the story here that some of those who they were in Ethiopia, they heard the story of al gharaniq and they decided to come back. This is what he don't agree with. The rest he agree with. And this is why he's saying, when he spoke, Shaitan, he throw in his mind, in his mouth, he throws satanic verses and then he quote for us the scars of Islam as you see al -Baghawi. Yes, he quote for us question, al brother, brother brother <laughs> wait the question that we ask is why these stupid um, scholars put that put that story in their books I, I don't know why they do it when no, this chain is uh, daif when no 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 Ibn Kathir, Ibn Kathir he is not saying the story chain is daif he is saying that the story there about those who they heard the story in in uh, 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 in Ethiopia, they decide to come back. This is what he says that this is for him. Uh, he cannot prove it. This is here. This is story. You see it. Uh -huh, this okay. is story. Not the rest. The rest he agree with it. The rest here we go. He confirmed that he Muhammad he received Satan. He Satan he throw in his falsehood in his speech. Do you see it? Yes. So he, he confirmed that what you don't confirm what is said before that some of the, the, the believers who they are in Ethiopia, they heard the story of al gharaniq and they thought that the, believe, the, 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 the pagans, they became believer. But the rest, he's confirming it. You see? Okay. Yeah. Same time, same time. Uh, uh, if we go and see when he, when he quote for us al baghawi read with me here. He said al baghawi Muslims, what Al Baghawi he said? Who is a Muslim wanna call me and tell me what Al Baghawi said about this verse? Uh -huh. Any Muslim? They Ibn will Kathir. never call you because this story is such a, a demolition to uh, Islam and Muhammad's prophethood. Because now we see the false prophet. Now we see the false prophet because in the Old Testament it says that um, when someone speaks for another god you have to uh, he is a false prophet and he have to die and pro uh, in, in moses um law of moses you know well we always get them busted from their books amen this is this is you know if we go and we check tafsir al baghawi for the same verses we are talking about who is the muslim when i call me as long ibn kathir he is admitting that he is learning from al baghawi <laughs> Any Muslim want to call us and read for us what Al Baghawi said? This is Al Baghawi. This is his. This is his boss. <laughs> when Ibn Kathir he quote for me, you know, Amir, Amir listen to this. If I quote okay. for you a scholar, if I quote for you Paul, that means Paul is higher than me, correct? Mm -hmm. Paul he don't quote Christian Prince because Christian Prince is not the one who explained the Bible to Paul. 
So yes. when Ibn Kathir he caught Al Baghawi. Who is the Muslim wanna call me and read for me what Al Baghawi he said about this? Who is the Muslim hero is willing to do that? Any Muslim? Mayday, Mayday. We are looking for a Muslim. So the funny about them, they try to run away from a disaster and they dig more for their prophet and they get him more in trouble. Al Baghawi. Who is a Muslim wanna call and read Al Baghawi? The teacher of Muhammad. This is Al Baghawi. I will put it in the screen so everybody can laugh. Maybe we have a Muslim. Hold on, Samir, uh, uh, Amir. Hello? Hello? Yes? You can hear me? Yes, I do. Are you a Muslim, my friend? Uh, yes, uh, I'm a Muslim. Um, right. I want to talk about something because uh, I found it very, uh, very obvious uh, because, uh, for example, I Tabari 1 um, verse... Uh, 1991 mm. it says that those uh, that have wisdom um, uh, that has no wisdom but um, talk about um, the Quran bad will end up in fire uh, in the explanation it says whoever explains the Quran with his opinion or what he has no knowledge of mm. them let him assume his seed in the fire and so yeah what we will say now what, what what do you think about the chapter we are reading from about satanic verses this is ibn kathir is quoting al baghawi and consider al baghawi is a big scholar to learn from al baghawi he said that when the prophet he arrived he said he said did you see that do you consider that allah and al uzza and the manad the third one satan he cast in his in his mouth those are the three flying daughters of Allah they are their intercession is a must so when Quraysh they heard this they were happy with this and then فَرْقَرَأَ الصُّورَ كُلَّهَا وَسَجَدَ وَفِي آخِرِ الصُّورَ فَسَجَدَ الْمُسْلِمُونَ بِسُجُودِهِ وَسَجَدَ جَمِيعُ مَنْ فِي الْمَسْجِدِ مِنَ المشركين. فَلَمْ يَبْقَى فِي الْمَسْجِدِ مُؤْمِنْ وَلَا كَافِرِ إِلَّا سَجَدْ Translation So the Prophet when he mentioned that the three daughters of Allah all the people of Quraysh they heard those who they attended the place and they heard that with him so he bowed down and they bowed down with him and nobody left he did not bow down in the mosque not even a believer or a pagan except one uh, إِلَّا uh, الْوَرِيدُ uh, إِبْنُ الْمَغِيرَ um, can I um, also uh, say it in Germany what we are written and you give me the chat the chapter and everything so that we can read together and I make the translation all right is chapter 22 chapter 22 verse number 52 this is the interpretation of al baghawi al baghawi which Ibn Kathir himself is quoting him which means he uh, is his master <laughs> um one by one you are too fast how right. else should someone can follow you all right my friend this is a chapter 2 verse number 52 um chapter of what of the quran itself? 22 chapter 22 verse 52 um surah 20 22 um surah 22 you say from the quran yeah? yes and verse number 52 um verse number 52 hmm. okay um let me go first to my Muslim app so that I uh, can read fast in Arabic, in German translation, whatever. Hmm. A few after time. No problem. I'm waiting for you. Are you ready? Uh, just uh, 10 seconds, then um, I will go on and I'm continuing. Uh, Surah Al-Hajj, right? 
Yes. Verse number 52. Okay. Interpretation of Al Gharawi. Yeah, uh, never did we send a messenger <laughs> or a prophet <laughs> before thee. But when he found a desire, Satan proved some vanity into his desire. But Allah will cancel everything rain that Satan throws in. And Allah will confirm mm. and establish mm. his sins for his um, full knowledge and wisdom. Okay, um, let me now go uh, for the uh, German translation mm. uh, so that I can read it as well. Um, it's from As F. Uh, Bubenheim. So nobody can complain that I have a wrong translation of it. Okay. Uh, what, who is Bobo uh, I, 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 I If I don't, if I don't know what he's saying, I would not know if he's wrong or not. All right. Anyway, but uh, anyway, you, you are claiming uh, that he is a good translator. No problem. It in Arabic, and then I will read. No, it my friend, Germany. my friend. Let us go. I mean, what this is all about? The 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 German. They can go and check the verse themselves. They can check the chapter. We give them the verse, the chapter, the verse number. They can go read. Now, give me the interpretation. What this is? What happened? Uh, yeah. Um. It's saying that. Um. That um, Allah um, will um, um, avoid uh, the bad verses that Satan gave Muhammad clearly, or uh, mm. the prophet, the okay. ascended. So, so the, it's confirmed. Uh, it's confirmed that Muhammad received satanic verses. Thank you. Yes. Okay. So now, what yeah. we would do? How Muhammad? How Muhammad received satanic verses? That's that's mean. Muhammad at this moment he is a messenger of Allah and messenger of Satan at the same time. Yes. Are you a Muslim still? Um, I'm just learning, you know. No, if, I'm, I'm asking I you. I mean, are you going to follow a prophet who received and he admit that he is receiving verses from Satan? How a messenger can be speaking for two gods at the same time, Satan and his God? Mm. How he can be a messenger for two in the same time? Mm. Yeah, um, uh, that's <laughs> madness. Sick is that's that, madness, that right? So you have to leave Islam, my friend. Yes. I advise you to denounce Islam right now. You are smarter than this. All right. Yeah. Um, you agree to leave Islam? But, uh, um, yes. All well, right. That's wonderful, that's guys. We have here. We have this gentleman from Germany. He decided to leave Islam, and he accept that this this is madness. This is stupid. This is bad. This is can't be true. This is cannot be from God, and he decided to leave Islam. We are happy for you, my friend. All right. So, um, good evening. Good evening and for Christ you. Okay. And the, what about accepting the Messiah as your Lord, my friend? As long as you left Islam, why you want to follow? I mean, why you were following such a man like Muhammad, a child molester, a killer, a, a, a criminal, a rapist, a thief? Even the Muslim accuse him of a sin underwear. Why you wanna? Why you were following him and leaving the Messiah? I, in, I invite you right now to accept the Messiah as Lord. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have one question because I found something interesting. In Russia and Poland, they are praying to picture of a black uh, Jesus, and in Africa, from the European, they mm -hmm. got the white Jesus. But what was the true Jesus? Okay, let me let That's me answer, let me let me answer you first. Let me answer you, my friend. All those pictures are drawing of a human being, and there's no Bible that says that people they should draw anything. The Bible says, draw no images of what is up in heaven or down in earth. And this is what, yeah, before, yes, right? yes, this is what the book of Genesis says. So when people they do that, this is their this is their wrongdoing because first of all, we do not know how Jesus looked like. Secondly, we don't care if Jesus looked black or white or Asian. We worship God, we won't we don't worship a man who is a blonde or black. So this is what people do. This is not this is not what the Christianity, this is what people do. You commit sin, I commit sin. We cannot judge Jesus by someone you know having a picture. So Christianity is not a picture, and Jesus is not a picture. Our okay. Lord is a living God, and He has nothing to do with those pictures. Now, right. still in the same time, that to present to you that Christians. Uh, uh, you know, some of the Christians, they because they love the Lord, they love the Messiah. Uh, you know, you know, they come with the art. You know, art is not forbidden in Christianity, but it's forbidden for you to worship images. So, if you worship an image, you are making a big, big sin. If you are drawing an image just to, like, you know, let's say, because you love that person, still for me, still for me, 
especially if it's in religious meaning uh, for me I believe it's very wrong but still he is not being a bad person he is because he loved Jesus so much he is doing that but this is very wrong too but still I will leave that between him and the Lord for the Bible says it clearly that we should not do such a thing this is a mistake this should not be done uh, now they have their own um, logic but this is not um, but for me if you want to focus on Jesus my friend I advise you if you want to know about Jesus go and ask Jesus don't mm -hmm. speak about a Christian who is praying in front of an icon because that will not okay. change anything Jesus is still wonderful Jesus is amazing teaching is beyond imagination and if I do wrong I am the one doing wrong not Jesus now if, if there is anyone can say Jesus did wrong no do you agree no. Okay, uh, so what Jesus I have admit. to do with the wrong I do? Let us say Christian Prince was a criminal. Let us say Christian Prince he's a rapist, or he is a uh, he is a sleeping around, or what does have to do with Jesus? This is a Christian Prince doing that, correct? Um, have you ever made such a sin? Uh, to be honest, if you don't want to talk about it, it's your private thing. No, no, uh, I'm saying, no, I'm saying, I'm giving an example. If I am a person who is a drug dealer, if I am a killer, if I am a rapist, if I am uh, a whatever, if I am who I am. What does have to do with Jesus? Nothing. Yeah. Right. I agree with you. Yeah. yeah. So if you wanna, if you wanna know about Jesus, know about Jesus, not about me. Mm -hmm. We judge that even the Lord. He said, "From their fruits you shall know them," and that goes the same to the okay. to Jesus. From his fruit you will know him. Mm -hmm. So the fruit of Jesus uh, is amazing, and that's why I invite you to accept the Messiah as your savior, my friend. Yes. Um, do you accept? I have, uh, uh, I accept. All right, um, hallelujah, hallelujah. Have, uh, we have we have this brother. Hold my friend. Let let everybody hear the good news. We have this brother. He rejected Islam today after calling us, and he accepted the Messiah as his Lord, as his Savior. Hallelujah. I'm really happy for you. The Bible says a happiness would be in the kingdom of God for one soul go back to Him. So you are my friend. Your name is will be mentioned in the kingdom of the Lord for you accepted the Messiah and you left Islam and you became a Christian. I'm so happy for you. Thank you. Okay. Um, I have a next question. What do you know about the destruction of the nations of Israel? Because I believe that there was not one nation Israel, there were nations of Israel, and there were many. No, what my friend, Israel, think? Israel is a is a is a, a nation of tribes. There they are tribes. So all of them but 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 usually when we say the word Israel we mean a person and his children but the Jews are not really one tribe there's many tribe same time I advise you not to focus too much on the nation of Israel because for a very simple reason you see God he created all mankind is that correct yeah okay why you want to focus only in one group in certain time the nation uh, of Israel let me, let, let, seeing, let me explain uh, to you let me explain to you don't focus in in in, in too much in, uh, uh, in in stories which will not help you today unless they are useful w what does that mean when I read the story about Adam okay I learned that Adam he commits sin and he did not obey God and look what happened when I learned about the nation of Israel they broke the command of God I learned that Israel was not obedient to God and they were doing bad things so God he punished them so I learned from the history what is going to help you today. That's what I need from their history. Otherwise, I do not need their history. I need to learn that if I am with God, God is with me. When I forsake God, God forsake me. So my advice to you, learn that from the history, that if you are with God, God will not leave you alone. But if you do what the Jews they did in the previous history, for they committed a lot of sin against God, God always, he is with them when they are right, and he is against them when they are not right. So learn from that history, but don't spend too much time talking about it because you are living today and you are following the Messiah. The Messiah came. The Jews at their time, they are nation trying to survive. They are tribes um, trying to survive. You, um, you know that in the Bible is written that you have to be a apostle and you have to look also for the lost children of Israel. And my friend, my friend, my friend, the Bible says any message of the Bible yes. is good, uh, even if it means that you uh, study etymology, not for a racist thing, right? But for a thing of realization. I agree with you. I agree with connection. you. I agree with you. My friend, yeah. my friend, the, 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 the lost soul, as you see now, you are not from Israel, right? 
You are not from um, Israel. And I just said to you that the happiness will be in the kingdom of God because you accept Christ, correct? So lost soul is important not only for Israel. Jesus said, I came to my people and my people rejected me. So he came to people and people rejected him. But still those same people, they are the apostle of Jesus. Because remember, from the Jews, we have a Christianity today. Because all the apostles of Jesus, they were Jews. So yes, he came to his people and they rejected him, but still there's many of the Jews that accepted him and they are the one who brought the teaching of the Lord to us. So we are still grateful for the nation of Israel and for the Jews, but it is God is not about the Jews. God is not about an ethnic group. God is not about a language. God is about, he loved the world. So he sent his only begotten son to save us. So all of us, we are invited to the, uh, 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 to the kingdom of the Lord, it's not only the Jews, it's not only the the Arab, it's not only the black, uh, it's not only the. Uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, yep, uh, I didn't say uh, anything about only because anything has its purpose. Even when it says we have to put the lost children um, high and bring them back to the rules, what they forgot, for example. They are Israelites and USA that forgot their history. They are Africans that forgot their history. There is even many things in the Bible that Europeans and uh, United States uh, people don't know. For example, I can go to Hosea 13 and I can tell you that it's um, um, talking about the Congolese Hebrew where it's saying Yambe or Sambe, and it's in many translations. My friend, but, my friend, my friend, uh, you're, you're going out of my topic, uh, my friend, with my respect to you. Uh, uh, okay. I, I have a topic uh, okay. to, to um, I don't want to yeah. waste But, but you know, don't confuse people. yourself with, with the, what he say, she say, who say. At the end of the day, you see, remember mm -hmm. Jesus said that there's many people, they focus on many things, but the important is one. The important is mm -hmm. to be with God, not to be with Israel, not to be with the Arab, not to be with the Chinese, you are focusing in details, which is not really going to take you to where you want to be. You know, if you have the Lord and you, you believe in the Lord, now focus on the Lord and focus on what he said to you. Go and be a fisherman, bring more people to me. You are focusing in things which will not really, I mean, will not make, make a difference for me. I will make it simple for you before I let you go. If now, if I'm a person who accepts Jesus as my savior, but I'm a person who never even did read the book of Isaiah, which is speaking prophecies about Jesus. I never even read the book of Genesis, which is speaking about God, how he created the world, and even prophesying of Jesus, as we see in chapter in, in Genesis chapter 5. If we go and I did not read the book of Zechariah, if I do not read here and there and there, and but I saw the Messiah, and then I accepted him. Am I a Christian or not? Yes, I am. So... Knowing, knowing, the Lord, he said, bless those who believe and did not see. Knowing is good. But don't focus in no knowing, forgetting what you want to know. If you believe in the Messiah, you know the Messiah. Some people, what they do, they focus in studying to know, but they forgot why they want to know. So that the purpose is like somebody going to the kitchen to learn how to cook, but he don't want to cook. But the purpose is to go to the kitchen is to cook, not to learn how to cook only. This is yeah, why the yeah. kitchen is a kitchen. Yeah. So we don't want to be the same kind of people. This is what the Muslims do. The Muslims, they focus on stupid things. We focus on things which is important. A Muslim, he focus if the prophet, he shake his penis three times or not. Who care? I mean, why even to know? The prophet, he um, used to yeah, pick his ass um, with the three well, rocks. Yes. No, no, you, let, you let, me, let me tell you. Die, you know? I'm, I'm saying, I'm saying yeah, yeah. that there's some kind of, sometimes people, the Muslims, we don't want to be the same as the Muslims. Muslims, they, they focus in knowledge, but it's a stupid knowledge. Mm -hmm. Who cares if Muhammad clean his ass with three rocks or not? Why I need even to know, to know that? Who cares if the prophet, he used to pray before he have sex with his wife? Who cares if, if Aisha, she, play, she put her hand in the panty of the prophet? Why I need to do that? So this is a knowledge too. This is a knowledge. But this is a knowledge for someone like me, specialist, to defeat Islam. But mm -hmm. for you to know the Lord, focus in knowing the Lord by knowing his teaching. History can help me to understand what happened in certain time, what happened to this gentleman, what happened to this tribe. That's good. But the Lord is um, what is important. It's not Musa. 
um, talk about something because there was one guy, Ilya Nachan, mm. he was a Chris Christ yeah. and he said for two days, mm. I become a Muslim mm. uh, and I don't believe these things. I think myself what happened, why he wants to use knowledge of Muslims and atheists to now attack the Bible, he defended. And for me, that is a reason why, because Muslims are very busy to defeat another scripture, but they on themselves can't defend their own if we know too much. But for our uh, purpose, it's important to note uh, to know the history of the Bible completely, because then where is the point to attack it? You see always truth somewhere yeah I, I, this guy you know I, I understand that his wife she gave him a problem or his girlfriend and then she want to seek revenge she went to a muslim she said she converted to shahada and then after a week mm -hmm. he followed her but he was not accepting so obviously there's something fishy there between them we do not know what the pro problem but anyway for yeah. me for me he is not important really this is his business See, the yeah. people they choose they leave they come uh, mm -hmm. there's no loss for christianity if somebody leave christianity if the whole world left christianity that will not affect mm -hmm. Jesus. You see, in the time of Jesus, there was 12 apostles, correct? Yeah, um, okay, 12. Yeah, um, let's say, uh, for example, Hold on. 10 because... Hold on. No, 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 don't, don't, oh, don't say oh, 10. Don't, don't, no, no, don't say 10. No, they are. Okay. Anyway, one of them, he betrayed Jesus. Is that correct? Yes. But is that it affect Jesus? No. Jesus is still Jesus. Who is he? So you can be the one who is called Judah. And there's many Judah around us. Who change their color? They change their religion. They change their names. They change who they are. This guy, he converted today. He will leave tomorrow. It's not important for me. I'm not going to waste my time with him. I fight. I fight for the truth, not for a person. I fight with knowledge, not for a person. So who leave? Who come? He will go. You just accepted the Messiah. This is not an issue. If, if you if you if you accept him, you are the winner. If you don't accept him, you are the one who will be loser. Not me. Not him. Not the Messiah. So for us, we focus on what is important. That's what I want you to do. Don't let them waste your time. They are using him for their propaganda, but soon they will dump him. They will not even mention his name. This is what they do with the, with the one who convert to Islam. First of first mm -hmm. a few days, they make you a superstar. They invite you for interview. They make you attack. Mm -hmm. And then after that, they dump you. And then after a few months, the guy will find that nobody care for him. And then he will leave Islam. And this is what happened to the most of those who convert to Islam. In the beginning, they look like superstar. Everybody invite you. Everybody praise you. Allahu Akbar. This person became a became a Muslim. But then after a few weeks, you'll find yourself you are no one. You just became an Abdul who now have to shake his penis three times. You have to clean your ass with three rocks. And you have to bow down to a God which you cannot know. And you have to face the Qibla, which is impossible to face. And he have to do what pagan people do. As an example, I challenge this guy who converted to Islam to go to the Kaaba and take a selfie of himself kissing and licking the black stone. You are converting to mm -hmm. paganism, not to God. This is a pagan religion mm -hmm. based on a stone. They pray in the front of a stone. They go around the stone. They kiss a stone and they praise God of the stone. And if this is not what paganism is, then what is paganism? Mm -hmm. All right, my friend. Uh, thank you for I calling. See. I have many people trying to call. So thank you for being with us. And may the Lord bless you. All right. Do we have any Abdul? As you see, we defeat Islam every day. And nobody can debate us. For we have the truth in our side. And the truth will set you free. They said Al Baghawi, this is Al Baghawi. Al Baghawi says that Muhammad he bowed down to the three daughters of Allah. This is Al Baghawi, which is Ibn Kathir is quoting. Who's next? Who is a Muslim from Germany? Here we go. We receive a phone call from a Muslim from a Germany. And then he left Islam. Happy for you. A call before him, he left Islam. Happy for you. So now today we have two in less than three hours. Who is going to be the third? Who is going to be the third Muslim who want to call me? And let us see if you can stand still and you don't leave Islam. Who want to do that?
یعنی مسلم They try to make it as a comedy, like the guy who called me and he says, ha ha, okay, uh, relax, relax, Christian Prince, relax. Yeah, relax. Why you're a prophet? He was bowing down and the pagan, they bow down with him. Relax, relax, Christian Prince, relax. <laughs> you know, you know, they try, they, 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 this is why, you know, when, when, when you speak to Muslims, you have to force them to answer they will never answer show me show me where in the hadith it says that the prophet he prayed in the front of idols show me i showed you this hadith is about muhammad praying in the front of the pagans and he's praising their god and this is what made them bow down they bow down because he mentioned their God's names with the glorious quotation. They bow down because he mentioned the gods, the three daughters of Allah, the flying carpet of Allah. And when they heard him saying great things about them, that Allah to al Uzza. Their intercession is indeed a must, as you see it. The prophet being aware of the following words, those who they are high-flying grands, Al-Quraysh, Al Al were thereby delighted. They were delighted. Delighted by what? Delighted by saying, that al gharaniq the three daughters of Allah, indeed their intercession is hoped for. Muhammad is asking the three daughters of Allah to intercede to forgive sin. That's mean Muhammad, he believed in the three daughters of Allah. Let me call one more time Brother Amir. We have to drop him. Amir, are you there? Are you still there? Hello? Amir. Hello. How are you? I'm fine. I, 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 called, I called the wrong person, sorry. Uh, <laughs> you, 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 all right. You are a Muslim, right? Uh, no, what? um, it was the guy I called before I that talk about Christ and everything about the nations. And uh, uh, sorry, sorry, I, for, I for, forgive me. I was trying to call Amir. Sorry, it's my mistake. Sorry, yeah. Um, well, can you. you make team speak? But because I uh, could tell you something that make it easier to talk with more people on the same time while you have the debate. Yeah, but you know, the problem, they have to be in my, uh, I have to add them to my list to join the conversation. Give me, give yes. me, yeah, but let's, I did not add uh, them. You know, the people they are calling me without adding me. I'm not adding them. People just, just call. I have like thousands of people in my Skype. It's endless. You know? Yeah. All right. Thank you, my okay. friend. Thank you for, I'm sorry for calling you right. a mistake. Thank you. Uh, where is, uh, where is Amir? Amir, uh, maybe Amir is gone. All right. People, don't forget, please, to subscribe. As you see, Muslims are in disability, and Islam brought nothing but shame to the Muslims. This is why they cannot prove us wrong. They said we are lying, and actually, I, I want to say thank you for, for saying that. Because by doing that, we did this study, and which is confirming everything we said. Hello? Hey, Christian Prince, you're speaking with uh, Rob Christian. I hear you, my friend. How are you? I, I'm fine, my friend. How are you? I'm all right. Uh, thank you for this great topic, and thank you for showing the truth 
to the early Muslim who just left Islam and uh, all yeah, for the glory welcome. of Christ. Thank My you, friend, thank you. I, Amen. I want, you, I want you to make a comment about what you see in the screen about Jalalain. What do you think yeah. about what Jalalain is saying? Go ahead. Uh, well, uh, Jalalain uh, is, is reporting what uh, truly happened, and Ibn Kathir, uh, Al Qurtubi, uh, Al Tabari is not the only one, right? And you know, me, me and you, we know we both can read Arabic. It's it's the right translation. So Muslims cannot deny it. You know, if you're going to deny it, then collect all these books and 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 and, and call. Uh, and if you're a man enough, uh, come on TV and say Al Tabari is a scumbag. Say Al Jalalain is a scumbag. Ibn Kathir is a scumbag. Why are they not doing it? Why are they not bur uh, burning their books, right? So that's my uh, that's my opinion about it. <clears throat> Can you still hear me, my friend? I can't hear you anymore. Hello, uh, Christian person. I can't hear you. Maybe you can call me back or something. Mm, let me try call you back. All right, look like sorry guys, I had I had to go. <laughs> he thought he thought I'm not here. I can hear you from far actually. Hello? Hey Christian Pris, Rob Christian again. Yeah, it's all right. Somehow I lost you. No, no, I uh, actually I was hearing you, but I was away. I was getting some water. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, sorry, yeah. sorry. So did you hear what I what I said about yeah, uh, yeah, asked for my opinion? Yeah, I heard you. Yeah, so yeah. So yeah, they should they should uh you know or or uh, burn all these uh, books of uh, the tafsir. They wish because you, yeah, they wish, <laughs> or they should just uh, someone, some leader, you know, come on on TV and and uh, he'll say all these cows are scumbag liars. I mean, they are reporting it. They are liars. Uh, don't trust them. And then uh, maybe they can uh, make Islam look like sugar-coated, beautiful, uh, loving Islam, right? The, the problem is with this cult you show them from their books and then they, they accuse us of lies Which is written in their books? Yeah, unbelievable. Huh? I mean how it is in your book, but yet we are the liars Yeah, you know and can you show me the proof? Can you show me the snad? Can you show me the details? Can you show me suddenly nobody ask a like why nobody ask a Jalalain for the snad by the way? Yeah, but the Christian press, you know the thing is uh, uh, for example uh, uh, tomorrow I steal a bike. I become a thief, right? Mm. I become a thief, and uh, the, the 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 day after I become a doctor. Hey, look, uh, Rob Christian. He's a thief, but at the same time he's a doctor. A thief is, is a thief, right? So uh, what they do are doing is uh, one day they call Ibn Kathir, a very trustful uh, scholar. They pick and choose. So other day he's a scumbag. <laughs> you see. Uh, uh, uh... The, the, Muslim, chair, right? the Muslims agree that all the books of tafsir is made not to explain the Quran but to defend the Quran. Yes, Ibn Kathir he lived between the Christians in Syria, and the Christians in Syria they got Islam busted big deal. So Ibn Kathir trying to defend is not explaining because nobody needed yes. Ibn Kathir anyway. Already there's many many interpretation before him. So what is the yes. need of Ibn Kathir? Ibn Kathir and many interpretation, all the interpretation actually. You, you see, the only interpretation you can even consider. Is the one written when Islam was still in the like as a major power, and yeah. Islam is not encounter with people who they are arguing about, who which means at, at the time there was nobody there. Yes, at that time, you know, you know, uh, yeah, you you know, you remember uh, Christian Prince, you debated uh, Dr. Rohi before, right? Yeah, I've debated him uh, many times on Potok. You know, people uh, on Potok they know me. Hmm. Uh, uh, I've, I've debated him many times, and he. Uh, whenever you ask him, uh, is Ibn Kathir uh, a trustful uh, guy? He says yes. Of course, you cannot say any bad thing about him. But when you're giving the, him uh, something like about the satanic verses from Ibn Kathir, all of a sudden Ibn Kathir is uh, become a scumbag. Yeah. Why, man? Uh, are you picking uh, uh, what is good and what is bad from Ibn Kathir? Either he's a scumbag. When, when or I debated with a... him, I, he, he said that tafsir is made to fix a problem, and he is right. Yes, the tafsir yes. is made to fix a problem, and the problem is Muslims are 
or, you know they need somebody to defend the stupidity yeah. of the Quran and the stupidity of the story is about Muhammad and the tafsir job is to do that not to explain the Quran after all yeah. the explanation of the Quran as you see the more you read interpretation the more the more confused you will be so what the point of, of the interpretation course. yes yeah. yeah but the thing is uh, so I want to tell you something uh, Christian Prince you're doing a wonderful job and guys please share these videos these, these are very important times why here's why uh, if you look around on YouTube uh, Christian Prince at, the, at this moment the Jews in Israel are rebuilding the temple of Solomon they are rebuilding it so this that means very soon the Antichrist will come because the Bible is very clear about it whenever you're going to rebuild the the temple for the third time and there is a big plan you have uh, the blues blueprints for it at the moment the Jews are doing it so guys be ready uh, the Antichrist will come very soon well I cannot speak about the future I will leave that to God uh, yeah. the Bible gives us ton tons of a privacy prophecy and uh, one of them is not the reason to 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 for things to happen but it's one of many prophecy have to yeah. be accomplished first yeah yeah but yeah but Christian Prince they already started to uh, burn uh, and uh, to sacrifice animals uh, so they, and there the blueprints are already there and you can find it all over YouTube so guys if you are interested about this these are very yeah, but they did not get the, exciting they did times. not get the temple back they did not get still it's the Muslims in the, top no, of the, the temple. true but they will kick out the Muslims very soon well until that happen we will see yeah yeah. All right, my friend. Thank you very much, uh, Christian Prince, and uh, hi to everyone in the chat. And guys, please support the Christian Prince. Uh, and thank you very much. God bless, my friend. Thank you. Take care. Bye bye. All right. Do we have any Muslim here? One last call. Maybe, maybe. We have 1,000 people. There is no way there is no Muslim between. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to share the link. Don't forget. You feel free to download my videos. I'm not the kind who get upset if people, you know, uh, share my videos, download them, use them in their own channel, because I don't work for my own. I work for my Lord. The point of what we do is to spread the truth. Is not the point is to say Christian friends doing great job. Do your great job by just copying the video posting them you you never know you know somebody will watch your video and you will leave Islam so you get the blessing of the Lord even though you are not the one who spoke there even though you are not even not even mention a word just because you took it you post it you repost it people saw it somebody was guided it is you who help him to see the truth all right you are not a Muslim you can call no actually you know I don't want more more calls unless from Muslims you see the reason I want Muslims to call me I want to always we don't do what the Muslims do if you notice one Muslim they have at their own TV show or etc it's a monologue between two Muslims you know and the Christians uh, why Jesus cannot be God okay why because God cannot be born who said God cannot the second you say cannot God he cannot it's me he cannot be God secondly God is always exist. Okay, who said that God is not always exist in Christianity? Jesus says before I am, before Abraham I am, which means before I was born I am. <laughs> Correct? The birth of Jesus is not his existence. Who said that the birth of Jesus is his existence? That is a stupid your analogy. You see, when you want to debate about uh, uh, someone about his belief, debate him about his belief, not about what you think. When I say to the Muslim, why well, your prophet, you, you say to me, your prophet is not a pagan, but he is a black stone. And you are not able to answer, this is not my problem, this is your problem. A person who's against paganism, he should not be kissing stones. A person who is against paganism, he should not accept that there's such a religion where we pray around a stone, we 
believe that a stone can suck our sin can by touching a stone our sin is erased this is obviously it is a pure satanic paganism religion they speak too much about fighting paganism but the fact everything they do is paganism they say something they do something else somebody saying to me there's a Muslim on a call and he is a blocked well I do not know what his name I don't see even his name in my list his name is not here I don't see such a name if you go in the hadith you will find the following which is a clear evidence that Muhammad why he in certain time he was nothing but a pagan and he was a person who is hypocrite when he is with the pagan is a pagan with the Christian is a Christian he speak to the Christian he said I believe in Isa I believe in Jesus he speak to the Jews I believe in Moses he speak with the pagan he believe in the paganism he believe in the daughters of Allah In the hadith, it says the following. Read with me. If this is not paganism, what is paganism? Abu Abdul Rahman. Somebody said to Abu Abdul Rahman, Oh, Abu Abdul Rahman, why I only why do I only see you touching these two corners he said I heard the messenger of Allah say touching them erase sin if this is not paganism so you tell me what is paganism The guy who said to me, uh, unblock this guy, unblock that I just answer you. I cannot find him. Stop texting me. Or I will block you. I don't have such a name in the blocking list. Any Abdul? How touching stones is going to erase our sin? Any Muslim have an idea? Anyone? Isn't it this is? Paganism? Stones forgive our sin? How? Who is a Muslim from Germany when I call us today? I devoted my time today for the Muslims from Germany, but look like there's no potato left in Germany. Unblock gamer two three three one. Let us see if we have such a name. Unblock gamer. He's a gamer. Does that mean he's a kid? Guys, don't call me if you are not a, a, a Muslim. Only Muslims, please. Only Muslims. How many times I need to repeat? Only Muslims. Please. Let us see Gamer. You said Gamer, right? Hmm. Gamer. There's no Gamer. 
Your gamer is a liar. Those all the names start with the letter G. Do you see it? There's no gamer. Your gamer is a gamer, is a potato. He's a liar. And there is no such a name, uh, Sinela, Tati, One, whatever. I can show you the list. So what part does Christianity make sense? Hey, Muhammad, why you don't call me? Let's talk about that. What makes sense in Christianity? That may, that, that's a good question. It makes sense that if you believe in God, God will give you 80,000 little boys. It makes sense that your God will make your penis English. It makes sense that in heaven you go and you find a bazaar full of images of men and women and ever, whatever image you ha like to have sex with, you jump inside it. It makes sense. Suddenly, a Muslim is speaking about what makes sense and what does not make sense. It makes sense, the Quran says, that women have a sperm coming from their ribs. That makes sense. Can you tell us what, why, why it makes sense to you that Mary, she is a virgin? How come the Muslim don't laugh at that? Just because Muhammad, he says, so they accept it. Trust me, if, the, if Muhammad did not mention that in the Quran, the Muslim will be laughing at you. Ha, 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 he's a Christian. Ha, ha, ha. Mary, she gave birth to Jesus and she was a virgin. Ha, ha, ha. But just because Muhammad, he says, so suddenly it makes sense. Four corner of the earth, it makes sense. And then now this is a phrase that is used. This is a figure of speech. Four corner of the earth. But the Bible says it clearly that the earth have a shape of a spear, shape of a globe. But your Quran is the one who teach you that you have a flat earth. Call me. Silence me. Right now, we'll let us speak about that. Four corners of the earth versus the flat earth in the Quran. Where in the Quran it says the earth is a flat? All verses in the Quran confirm that the earth is a flat. Not a single verse in the Bible speak about the earth is a flat. What do you say? Huh? What do you say, my friend? <clears throat> Not only the Bible speak about the, the look of the earth, even he said that it's hanged on nothing. If you go to the book of Job, chapter 26, you will see something you Muslims, you spend millions of years to figure it out. Actually, you're a Muslim, you will never figure it out. Is that true? Or we are making things up. <clears throat> Job 26. But Job answered and said, How hast thou helped him that is without power? How savest thou the arm that hath no strength? How hast thou counseled him that hath no wisdom? And how hast thou plentifully declared the thing as it is? To whom hast thou uttered words, and whose spirit came from thee? Dead things are formed from under the waters, and the inhabitants thereof. Hell is naked before him, and destruction hath no covering. He stretcheth out the north over the empty place, and hangeth the earth upon nothing. He bindeth up the waters in his thick clouds, and the cloud is not rent under them. He holdeth back the face of his throne. All right. And spreadeth his how cloud the, how, upon it. How the Quran? He hath compassed the waters with. Hold on. How the Quran speak about the earth? Is the earth is hanged on something? <coughs> yes. The Quran says that the earth is hanged on columns which you can see. Is that true? Is that true, my friend? Let us go and see and love together. <laughs> uh, sometime. All right. <clears throat> Why you don't call us? Call us. <clears throat> Chapter 13, verse number 12. 
Allah is the one who raised the heavens without any pillars that you can see. That's mean there's pillars, but we cannot see. Is that true? Who is a Muslim when I refute that? Do your God confirm that the earth, the sky and the earth, they used to be together. Allah, he pushed up the sky and he put columns. Yes or no? Yes or no? Hello? <laughs> Hello? Okay, are you going to talk or not? You don't have a mic, so why are you calling me? That is very smart of you. This guy, he wanted to debate, he don't have a mic. I mean, look at the Muslims. He called me, he called me. Hello, I don't have a mic. I want to debate. Hmm. What a comedy. Don't, don't text me, don't text me. I have no time for kids. You are calling me, but you don't have a mic. <clears throat> Hello? Hello, hi. Yes, my friend. Hi. Mm. Are you a Muslim? Um, no. How I can help you? Let's me, let's me, let, yeah, let me put the YouTube off. Yeah, mm, I mean, you know, you. Um, I'm w watching you for ages, to be honest. Um, uh, for I just mean when you used to be on the telly with other people, mm, and I know your real name as well, to be honest, but I don't want to mention it here. Oh, you really you know my real name? What is my real name? No, I don't want to tell you. Like, come on, Osama Dakduk. My name is Osama Dakduk. Wow, Osama Dakduk. I am Osama Dakduk. Okay, and okay, hmm. so, yeah, so how I'm you know that's nice how you. you know that's so, my name? How you know? I know that, sir. Please, how you know that? I've been watching you for maybe five years now. Hmm. Okay, my friend. Okay. I have no time for kids. Osama Dakduk is a different person. I don't like stupid talk. You can go watch his video. Chris, uh, uh, Osama Dakduk is a Christian minister. He has a church. I am not a priest. Who is a Muslim when I call me? <clears throat> Who is a Muslim when I call me? Anyone? Hello? Okay, listen, listen, uh, Abdul. The one you are saying why you don't want me to call you give me your skype i will add you and i will call you from here just just to, just to show you that you are no one give me your skype name i will i will add you and i will call you <clears throat> the guy with his name cylinder whatever what's his name clean linen what is your skype give me your give me your skype I will call you. Let us see how brave you are. You keep saying, call, I want to call you, I want to call you. Here we go. Let us see. Give me your Skype. I will call you. Now he play dead. Give me your Skype name. How am I going to call you? Give me your Skype name.
give me and uh, Muhammad Ahmad if you are a man call me so we can love I have to attack Islam to make Christianity look good I don't have to my friend Islam itself except Islam says that Christianity is the truth and the, and the proof in the front of you in the in the Quran So why do I want to give you your Skype? How am I going to call you if you don't give me your Skype name, Potato? So you were begging us all this time. You want to call me, you want to call me, and then you don't want to, to give me your Skype. Interesting. His Skype name is Fadi. What kind of a Skype name is that? Fadi? Let us see if Fadi is exist. Fadi. Fadi. Fadi one two three, is that you? <coughs> okay, if this is you, call me. There was a name Fadi one two three. This is the only name I have as Fadi. Call me. Not your name, so I don't have another fatty. What we will do now? Why you don't give me your name, your your account, so I can add you? What fatty? Fatty is not the account name. Give me the name. What is your name to find you in Skype? This is the last time I will ask you. I'm not going to waste my time. I'm not a kid. So either you give me the name, how to find you, and I will call you, or I will send you free shipping and hand it into Allah. Where is the guy, Muhammad Ahmad? Why he don't call? Muhammad Ahmad, where are you? Why you don't want to call me, my friend? My name is Life x Ride. Life x Ride. Hello. Hello. Yes. Hello, Christian Prince. Yes, my friend. Go ahead. Uh, yes, I've been actually trying to get hold of you for a while. Uh, I'm actually an ex-Muslim, and I've, I actually have a question to ask you. All right. Uh, my question is uh, regarding Muhammad. Uh, he he he's a he uh, become Muslim when he was 40 years old. Yeah. And since then, he's actually ordered all the Muslim to be circumcised. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm just wondering if, if has he ever been circumcised? No, he's not. Muhammad himself? Never. No, never. What about Abu Bakr? There, Umar, there's Osman, no, there's no mention Ali. of any of them. None of them did that. There's no mention of them. So none of them were actually circumcised. Yeah. And I, 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 I never heard. Word. For me, up to my knowledge, I never heard that Abu Umar, uh, Umar or Abu Bakr or anyone was circumcised. Even Muhammad himself, he did not. Yeah, that's right. Because I've actually checked myself in the Sirah, in the Hadith, and I never found anywhere uh, any any record of yeah. them being circumcised. Yeah. So, uh, so you don't you have you haven't heard of this either? No, I never I never encounter. You know, the Quran says in the So the Muslim mm -hmm. they claim that Allah, because He told him that Allah, He will make him uh, pure, so he do not need to do. Uh, that's what that's that's what what the Quranists believe. The people who believe rejects the Hadith. And they believe the Quran, yeah. Yeah, they, they say, believe the they circumcision say, is prohibited. No, the, the, yeah. the Quran never say the, the Quran. No, what the Quran saying? The that Quran says because, that because man Allah was he made, made no because yeah. because he made him Allah he said that mm -hmm. he will make him pure. But this is an ex a false excuse because chapter thirty verse number fifty five it says that mm -hmm. Isa Allah he used the word mutahiruka. Okay. And which mean I will circumcise you, you know. It's called Allah, ya Isa. Inni mutawafika wa rafi'uka ilayhi wa mutahiruka. Mutahiruka is mean I'm going to purify you. And purify you, purification for the Jews is to do circumcision. So here, either the Muslim they say that Isa was not clean and Allah will, will, will purify him, 
after yeah. he die or Allah is going to do a circumcision for him in heaven which is going to be very funny same time we know that the Bible speak that Isa or Jesus he did circumcision when he was in young age yeah that that's according to the uh, Jewish tradition yeah yeah okay yeah. well that's understandable but what I don't understand is is Muhammad himself not being circumcised and you know his, his same time and same time what Muhammad had to do circumcision that doesn't make sense but yeah. why right? he is doing even circumcision if we ask a Muslim where do you get yeah. circumcision from they have no idea I believe it's from the Jewish tradition I know but, he, but you see it's Muhammad <laughs> is a you see there is a hadith where Muhammad he copy from the Jews always um, if we go in the hadith let me okay. see if I can find it. Is it clearly with the clear words? Here we go. Okay. This is Sahih al-Bukhari. It says that the prophet used to copy the people of the of the scriptures would mean the jews and the christians in yeah. matter which there was no order from allah <laughs> all right <laughs> what is more we need to prove and this is sahih bukhari they can't say this is a lie they can't say it's a fiction they can't say it's a fabrication he copied why he copied from them where is it what, okay. what is his where is his god where the god of muhammad don't send him scriptures which is you know i mean he needed obviously he needed where is jibreel how come jibreel is exist when muhammad he want to have sex with women <laughs> when he want women to give him their private part but jibreel disappear when muhammad he need uh, uh, something to fix a matter which is not exist in his book so why he go to the book of the scriptures and and why you yeah. copy why you copy from the scriptures of jews who it's corrupt or christians because when you copy, it's mean you accept it. Okay, okay. All right. Okay, thank you, Christian Prince. It's nice to talk to you. You're welcome, my friend. Take care. All right, thank you. Bye. I forgot to mm -hmm. ask him like how he left Islam. I forgot really. Um, if you'd like to tell us more about why you left Islam, feel free. Uh, <clears throat> I mean, do you want more clear evidence that Muhammad is a is a thief? Where is his God? The book of the Christian is corrupt. The book of the Jews is corrupt, and the and the prophet of Islam is copying from the corrupt. <laughs> it's like saying to you, uh, you have AIDS, and yet I want to sleep with you. Who is this stupid here? Do we have any Muslim? <clears throat> Do we have any Muslim? Everything Muhammad he have is a copy paste. If you remember Muhammad once, a Jewish guy, <clears throat> Muhammad was doing a funeral. Like he's praying a funeral prayer. So while he while he was in the funeral, <clears throat> a Jewish guy he passed by. Let us see the hadith. Which will will show you right away that Muhammad is nothing but a scam. The message of Allah used to stand up for a funeral. He used what? To stand up, used. Focus with the word used. Used to stand up for a funeral until the crops was placed in the grave. A learned Jew, which means a rabbi, a rabbi, once passed by him and said, this is how we do it. What he said? This is how we do it. What the prophet said? Sit down, 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 immediately sit down, act differently, act differently, sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down, act differently, 
up the front tree. Sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. Muhammad, right away, he noticed that he got busted. The Jews, he just said to him, this is how we do it. Or what the Jews said to him, nothing. He just said, this is how we do it. This is how we do it. What Muhammad did? Sit down, sit down. Sit down, sit down. We are getting busted. Sit down, sit down. Sit down, sit down. We are getting busted. What the Jews said? This is how we do it. This is how we do it. The prophet of God, he changed the way he do things just because the guy, he said, this is how we do it. What if Muhammad, he was eating using his mouth? What Muhammad will do? Will eat from different place? This is how we do it. Hello? Uh, hi, Christian, please. Hey, my friend. I just said that if you want to tell how you left Islam, feel free or something like that, right? Yeah, okay. Right. Yeah. I know I left because uh, that things about uh, like predestination, because in Islam, like, oh yeah, sorry, in Quran, uh, it says like, if Allah wants, everyone in the world will believe, but Allah right. don't want or something like Don't feel sad, yeah. because if... So I thought that's very stupid, because if you... Uh, predestinate like you created uh, like destination then what's the uh, like what's the point of hell yeah well there's tons <clears throat> of uh, problems but I, I understand this is your one of your reasons and like you just showed how rabbi uh, like rabbi what's it called debunked Muhammad right like he was praying and Jewish rabbi said, yeah this like, is when he said to him that you are doing shirk you are mushrik right you're a pagan you mean that and once even pagans uh, they uh, they showed that Muhammad is stupid you know when uh, Muhammad was in saying that uh, that things that people worship they will go to hell too like for example if someone worships idol that idol will go to hell too so pagans ask Muhammad so, for example, Christians, uh, they worship Isa. So, will Isa go to hell too? And they cried, yeah, yeah we win, them, win him because he's stupid or something. Did you know that hadith? I say again, I, I, I was trying to read the text in the chat. I did not focus on you, sorry. Say again what the uh, hadith. I like uh, Muhammad said that all things that are worshipped, uh, they will go to hell. For example, someone worships idol, that idol will go to hell too. Yeah, yeah. So... Uh, uh, pagans ask him, so uh, Christians, they worship Isa, and you claim that he's prophet, so will we'll Isa go to, go to hell? <laughs> yeah, so and he can't answer. <laughs> what a potato. A potato, potato. So even even pagans, they are smarter than... Yeah. Actually, there is there is many, uh, you know, many stories about Muslim. If you remember the story of uh, the hoodhood, a Muslim, he asked... Uh, he asked Ibn Abbas. Ibn Abbas, he claimed that the hoodhood, as Muhammad told him, uh, uh, Allah, he made him uh, in the army of Suleiman. He is like a general in the, the for the for the bird army. And at the same time, he can discover water under the ground. So an Arabian man, he was standing there, he said, well, how come if we put some seed to a hoodhood to trap him, to, to like to, to capture him, he don't see it under the under the, uh, the sand. If we cover it by sand, he cannot see even the seed. So how he can see the water under the ground, but he cannot see the seed? Ibn Abbas, he said to him, aren't you afraid that Allah will strike you for saying that? The guy, he said, oh, I'm not going to say that again, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> the guy, he decided to use his brain for a second. How you say that this bird can see water under the ground, but he cannot see a bunch of seed? Yeah. Uh, yeah, and I have uh, one more question, but 
you know, like I want to ask why you don't make uh, videos in Arabic because here in Saudi Arabia, I live in Saudi Arabia, mm. and you know, most of the people they don't speak English, so they really think that Christians they know that Muhammad is prophet, but uh, like because they they are so arrogant or something, they don't accept me. You know, they cut videos, for example, some Christian talks about Islam mm. and they they cut it as if he says that uh, he believes that Muhammad is prophet and, and so on and so on. They translate it in Arabic. And, you know, most of the Arabs, like at least in Saudi Arabia, they don't speak English. So maybe if you will make yeah, but, you know, there's uh, many, videos in Arabic. Yeah, there's, many, know, there's like, many Arab Christians, they are getting Islam busted big time. We have TV stations, we have radio stations, so it's it's over, it's history, you know. There like are, Zakaria Petros? There's a, a Rashid, there's many, there's many, there's tons, there's a lot, there's a lot. Yeah, there's a no, lot of Rashid. I, I think you, th you should make uh, it uh, videos at Arabic too. See, the reason for me, I do it in English, and which is a language, I you know, because the Arab, they have a lot of opportunity to learn by themselves, and they have many people to teach them. So I don't want to be just one more Arab, doing something is already exist. I wanted to be someone who delivered the message to those who cannot read Arabic. There's, okay. there, there's, there's many that speak Arabic already and they and they, they are exposing Islam. There's Morocco and there's to, from Tunisia, there's from everywhere. You know? But to be honest with you, I, you're the only the Arab Christian who talks about Islam and who I know because No, I no, no, no. there is many, there's many. You, you search for Brother Rashid as an example. Brother Rashid. Uh, Brother Rashid, yeah, he's yeah, Christian, yeah. right? Yes, yeah, they have a Christian TV station. They broadcast all the way to Saudi Arabia. Every house in Saudi Arabia watch it in satellite. All right. Oh, so he's Arab. Right? Oh, he's a Moroccan. He's a Moroccan. Moroccan oh, who left Islam. Yeah. And he is getting Islam busted. Big deal. There is a guy, his name, um, uh, I think he lives in Germany. His name is Hamid Abdul Samad. He make a lot of programs about Islam to get it busted. So there's a lot. There's a lot, you know. There's Zakaria, but Rose, there's many. Yeah, like he may, they Muslims, they're trying to uh, say that he's lying. And who's but, lying? <laughs> what, what, if I make a video too, they will say the same. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you show them, even from Sahih Bukhari, they will say, no, it's not this bad, like, or something. My like friend, that. once I have a debate with an Arab guy, he's a sheikh, big sheikh. So they have the debate, and he, you know, he said to me, uh, he said that the heaven of Allah is in uh, in earth. I said to him, the heaven of Allah is in heaven. He said to me, you are stupid. You do not know your religion. You do not know. And you don't teach me my religion. You are a Nasara. You don't understand. He's a big sheikh. His, his beard is like 20 foot tall. So <laughs> he, he, he carried it with him when he walked. And the Muslim, Allahu Akbar, uh, brother, you are right. And then, the, the video posted on YouTube and right away the guy he flagged the video he asked all his followers because he noticed how stupid he is because the Quran say clearly that the heaven of Allah is in heaven okay this is why it's so heaven <laughs> <laughs> it's like yeah. Muhammad hijab saying that Allah don't pray yeah. to Muhammad but for he the prophet for. yeah he pray for, right? uh, yeah, he pray like for. big change like, I mean really like. yeah supposed he is he's being smart yeah. <laughs> anyway, my friend, thank you very much, very much for calling. Okay, thank you. Yeah, yeah. bye. Thank you. Where is the guys who want to call us? Who is a Muslim would like to call me? Anyone? Mayday, mayday. Last call, last call. Today we have. Actually, three callers. One of them left Islam. No, two, two, two of them they are ex-Muslims, and two of them they left Islam on air. That's wonderful. Kafir Maghribi. I think I saw once a video of him. Aksaray Dead. Let me see this. Let us see if we can find this account. X is going to be at the end. There's no X. You see, I, this is this is the name. Of, you see, they lie. I mean, what I can do? This is the only name start with X is in the blacklist. 
what I can do XYZ XYZ and usually I block people only if they are trashy I don't block them for they are debating me all right any Muslim yeah tomorrow tomorrow yeah you are the same as your God Allah he will fix things tomorrow this is why in the Middle East nothing is right you ask them why there is no electricity they say we will fix it tomorrow why we have no water we we'll bring it tomorrow why the street does not have tons of holes we will fix it tomorrow and tomorrow never come here we go we challenge them all those Abdul from Germany not even one that we have only one person from Germany he's a Muslim he left Islam one caller Where is the rest? Tomorrow. Anyway, guys, I want to say thank you for being here. Don't forget, please, to subscribe. Tomorrow we will be live on air again. And enter, we see you soon again. I say that we, we, always victorious because we are not teaching lies. Muslims, they try to defend by lying. And that is a clear evidence that Islam is a false religion. Ask yourself why Muslim they lie if Islam is a true religion. People who follow the truth should stick with the truth. When the Muslims accuse Ibn Kathir to be a liar, they are accusing Ibn Kathir to be a liar. That's mean Ibn Kathir is a liar. When Ajalain he said the Prophet he bowed down, then and they accuse Ibn Ajalain to be a liar. That's mean you Muslims are liars. If this is your best of you, the scholars saying that. What about the non-scholars? They are in a chaos and they cannot explain what's happening. So they start accusing their scholars that they are just a human. They make mistakes. Yeah. A Christian prince, you cannot make mistake. A Christian prince, if he make mistake, the Muslim will torture him. But the scholars of Islam, they make mistakes. And mistakes about what? About God. About their prophet. All of them, they make mistakes. Not a single scholar for the Muslim is a scholar no more because they are human and human make mistakes as if their prophet is not a human. Do the prophet make mistakes? No way, but I thought he's a human. Even the Quran says Muhammad is a big time sinner. Thank you very much, guys, for being here. And we will see you soon again, maybe tomorrow. Christ is Lord, Islam is false. And see you soon.